And here we go once again with another episode, another session in the Legends of the Drowned Isles, World of Omisha. Um, this is untitled as of yet, because I'm kind of curious as to see where uh, people go. Last episode was called Into the Jungle. We'll get into summary in just a moment. I'm Mark the Encaffeinated One, the creator of Omesha and the one responsible for most of the things that have gone wrong. Also the GM. Uh, around the table we have... Uh, Jody, playing Clark, the uh, half-orc fighting rogue. He's, fighting rogue? He's wondering what he's doing in a jungle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name's Marie. Uh, I'm Mariana Kimmy in the YouTube comments. Uh, and I play Elzara, the wood elf druid, who is... Really, really interested in what's going on in this jungle and trying to find some animals too in the process. <laughs> Hi, I'm Adam. Uh, I'm the guest host for this episode. Once again, uh, I am playing Shank, the dwarven fighter, and she is paying, being paid to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Pat, uh, playing Emrin Alisar, who's really hoping that he finds dinosaurs in the jungle, because that would be neat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Nax, playing Zacchaeus, half elf wizard. He probably doesn't like the jungle. <laughs> it's okay. not very bookish. No, so it it's probably pretty itchy as well. Yeah. So, in the previous moment in time that we captured, we all had teleported to the island of Taraka, looking for this the Tower of Awaz, where a ancient stone lay, providing power that could be used for the library's good. We teleported to a closed box of stone one <laughs> which just open the container <laughs> real quick let's not bother with the there we go trying to keep it quiet <laughs> the stealth check just made it funnier uh you arrived in a stone box discovering a trap had been set up around the teleportation circle from there um you found yourselves uh partially suffocated and so made your way to port alta nearby a hive of scum and villainy. There's never been a more appropriate title. They should put it over the town entrance sign, really. You found a number of interesting characters in uh, Port Alta, and a number of strange rumors about the jungle which is nearby. Most seemed afraid of the jungle. Others said that people had wandered off in the jungle, never to be seen again. The next day, after an unsatisfying rest in an inn, and a rather satisfying rest outside for some of you, you make your way into the jungle and start to discover perhaps why people have considered it to be less than hospitable. Moving through the very, very dense jungle, you start to make some tracks until you come across a human trapped by a number of small, strange creatures, which you have legendarily heard are Grung, strange little frog-like creatures. You fight the Grung to save the human, who seems increasingly exasperated. Um, in the midst of the fight, Elzera transforms into an air elemental, which seems to catch the attention of the Grung, who, after a signal from one of the uh, orange Grung, leap off into the woods. At that point, you, after several tries, break open the cage which holds the strange human who thanks you, and tells you the queen will reward you, and immediately runs off into the woods, traveling north. Elzera, back in humanoid form, gives chase. And at a certain point, just as she's reaching out to catch up to him, feels herself transition through an invisible barrier. On the other side, perhaps, that strange phenomenon that the humanoid referred to as the hum. And that's where we begin. We start with Elzera making a wisdom saving throw. But to make at advantage because of my ring, because I switched over to that. Mm -hmm. That's what the ring is for. Oh, uh, well, that's a 15 and a 16 for a total of 24. Okay. As you cross through this barrier, you can feel the magical energy ripple across your skin. It feels like it impermeates you, it runs through your soul. And for a moment, you can hear it. A strange, keening hum. Not unfamiliar, but you've never heard it before. Strange, like feeling like home. But then you shake your head, and the hum subsides. But the tingling still remains. 
One of the other things you notice right away is that the jungle has grown even more dense than before, even more alive than before, and all of the animal sounds are more vivid, having crossed this barrier. Standing before you, grinning like an idiot, is the humanoid you had met before. He seems much more content now. What are the rest of you doing? You've seen Elzera charge up northward, catching Following. up. Following. Following. I am going to yell out a couple of uh, healing word spells as I go. Okay. Uh, anyone other than Ivo and Paul badly hurt? I, I, I uh, lost one hit point, but you don't have to heal me for that. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not going to worry about that. I've got a splinter. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. yeah. Just as we're going ahead, I'll cast my last two level one slots to uh, give them a few more hit points. I'm going to eat my good berry. Okay. Three, six. It tastes bland and dull and uninteresting. You feel full, but it seems so unappetizing. Paul gets ten hit points back. Weird. I will get eight. So. Okay. Neither are fully healed, but... Uh, who better. is tracking Iro? Are you? Mm-hmm. Okay. You uh, move through the jungle, and it is fairly dense, as it has been before, slow going. Um, but as you crest a certain point, you can see uh, Elzera and the strange humanoid. Uh, eyes still very, very wide, but his expression a little more placid. Uh, and you start to approach forward. You see Elzera standing there, chewing and looking dissatisfied and confused. As you come up close to her, each of you feel a transition. There's nothing visual that you notice, but suddenly it feels as though you travel through... like traveling through a warm waterfall. It washes over you and through you. Each of you will make a wisdom saving throw, as well as Paul and Iroh. Ooh, 13. Okay. Emerin also got 13. Iro got 14. Oh, wait, was, yeah, 13. Okay. 15. Okay. Clark fails with a 9, I think. Okay. What does Paul have for wisdom? Um, Paul got 6. Actually, you roll with advantage. 18. There we go. Okay. As you transition through um, and feel this surge of magical energy uh, around you, there's a couple of things you notice. First of all, Clark, you've never felt like this before. It feels good. It feels comfortable. It feels magical. And you've heard of some places that have more story to them, that bards have told in different bars, reflecting the nature of magical places. And you finally feel like you've found one. And it feels very, very comfortable. It feels like home. For Amrun. Uh, actually, you roll with advantage as well. That's a 17. Okay. Um, for Amrun, you pass through this barrier, um, kind of consciously aware of it as you're going on, but you feel a song in your mind, a song of peace and a song of familiarity. It is a song of Paluxia somehow. Yeah. You know this, running through your mind. And that seems to keep all other noises from interfering. You still feel the tingleness, tinglingness of the, of the power in the area, but it does not seem to push through you. Uh, Clark, you do feel a little bit of pins and needles, but not unpleasantly on your, your arms and hands and, and I uh, come body. Um, Zacchaeus. 13. You transition through this uh, this uh, wall of, of power and as you move through it you feel a rush of energy you feel more powerful than you've ever felt before I think you we found feel the thing, guys. like you have like within you a wellspring has suddenly exploded and you can even see as you move your fingers around small sparkles of light pure mm-hmm. magical energy which is clinging to you. None of the rest of you see what he sees, however, in that. But you feel again that that warmth, that tingle, and you feel like the world's possibility has opened up to you. Awesome. 
but you also feel, feel this song, a humming, which is running through your mind, and it compels you a bit. Both Clark and Zaka subconsciously turn northward in the direction where the humanoid was running. Now, what did Iroh and Paul get? Paul got six. Yeah, and Iroh got 14. Okay. So I think they both failed. Um, you see also Paul and Iroh turn in that direction. Paul, confusingly, perhaps one of the few times you've ever seen a smile crossing his face. He looks relaxed. He looks so not tense here. at all. Um, and you all hear the somewhat manic giggle of the humanoid standing in front of you, moving from foot to foot, kind of wanting to be in motion all of the time. Yes, something is indeed wrong. You We're feel stopped. the hum. We need to keep going. You feel it. You're welcomed into the Queen's presence. This is good. Good. Mm, what yeah. kind cool, of... Cool story, bro. We're, let, let's what? go towards the center. Yes, yes, we'll go. What kind of go. humanoid is he? He's, I thought he human. was human. He's human. Okay. Because you just described him as human. He's actually a humanoid partner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. It's hard to tell details in that cage anyway. Yeah. And he turns northward and starts to move. So are um, there any uh, hazards in this area? Is he even listening to me? Um, he He's kind of waving his hand moving forward. Oh yes, many, many, many hazards. You'll have to survive them to see the queen. Excellent. Mm. You go first. We'll oh, I'm already on. blessed. They will not harm me. I'm pulling the standard off my back because I may need it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Unfurling this large standard now, mm -hmm. which most have not seen before. Describe what the standard actually looks like. That's what it looks like. <laughs> That's not a description. <laughs> There's a battery stuck to the bottom. For our radio, hand, radio friends at home. <laughs> yeah, it's about our six foot tall staff. Um, has a five sided shape, like it's a banner that comes down to a point. Mostly blue, silver on the edges. It has the symbol of the new church of Paluxia on it. Also alchemical symbols for air and water. And up top it has like a big round uh, uh, area Ooh. on it. That, 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 that one's not actually not on that. at the moment. <laughs> well, but this I, is just me I, stretching I will, then. I will, <laughs> well, I'll switch to the overhead view. If if you so like. we, we can put it in front of uh, that yeah, one. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Look at that. We <laughs> may or may not focus on it, but... Uh, yeah, it's not bad. It, it'll, the people can see it. It looks really nice. This was something that was handcrafted by uh, Pi Pat, by the way, um, for his character, so very cool. Uh, yes, so I will be. Uh, mm. <laughs> I will be walking along with that. Okay. Um, inside in this area, having transitioned through the barrier, um, you again hear a richness of animal sound uh, surrounding you. Uh, almost overwhelming, but familiar. Almost as though they're all calling out with you. And for those of you who have succumbed to it you feel their voices also cheering with the hum in in synchronicity with it somehow this incredible song that surrounds you it's like being in a disney musical <laughs> uh it's not quite so lyrical but uh i suppose if all of the birds were going to help you put your clothes on in the morning and <laughs> all of the bees were going to help you fasten your seat belt or whatever um because it's a disney ride right no uh, uh, as you move on forward, the uh, humanoid uh, uh, okay, I have to remember that, but oh, one more thing, sorry, there's one more thing to note. Um, as you've moved through the barrier, Shank, um, you have no idea what the rest are are going on about. Every once in a while you hear Paul just looking around saying, "It's so beautiful." Uh, Iroh has remained silent, but seems to be staring off at the trees in a strange way. Even a couple of your friends, uh, well, a couple of your companions, your employers, have uh, have seemingly uh, succumbed to something. You find it very suspicious. Um, you feel warm, but not the warmth of the jungle around. You feel your armor warm slightly. Hmm. Um, and after about two or three minutes of walking through the jungle, you look down and notice that there's little sparkles you've never noticed in the armor before. Um, 
it feels as though it is reacting somehow. It's disconcerting. Do we notice this? No, I'm, I'm like right. I'm assuming now I'm be- right yeah. behind uh, Finn. Did he ever introduce himself? You're right up front. Uh, he does along the way say, uh, "My name is Finn. Thank you for rescuing me from those horrible creatures. Yes, they I'm seek to steal the queen's power, and we cannot have that." Who is this queen? And uh, you said we were welcome into her embrace, but now you said we have to pass some trials? You have passed the first trial. You've rescued me. That must surely be something of a trial itself. I suppose. What are the next trials? Oh, it's not for me to say. They're always different. Not everyone responds to the hum in the same way. Some find it disturbing. Some find it confusing. So there are trials to make sure that you are true of heart. Well, it seems empowering And strong to enough to survive. See the, do you see these sparkles? <laughs> no. Do you see sparkles? Yes. Then you are truly ones. blessed by the queen's power. Can I clue in that I'm, like, going crazy or no? <laughs> After that uh, comment. Make, uh, make an insight check. Eight plus thirteen. Thirteen. I keep rolling thirteens. Um, clearly, probably because of your superior intellect, your ability and facility with magical energies, you're aware of something that they are not. You are on the right track to understanding okay. exactly what's going on, and Finn reassuringly lets you know that. If you are seeing other things, then you must clearly be strongly blessed by the by the queen's power of the hobs. I wonder if my companions are similarly blessed. I what stopped queen... singing a different song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no, I'm good. We're what good. If, what has the queen blessed you with? We're all good here. Me, long life, and longevity. I no longer need to eat. It is glorious. Does he look more frail than he should be looking, or? Um, Does he look I mean, like he's he was, you know, stuck in a cage for a while yes, and yes. stabbed. Um, he looks better now than when you first saw him, however. Okay, so the hum restored him pretty much. It, you feel like he is definitely blessed by the hum. Yeah. What a great position he's in. Cool. If only you could get that blessed. I know, right? So you what can... happens to uh, those, who, those who fail the trials? Not that I'm even thinking that I might fail the trials, but... Well... Failure is a terrible thing. Oh, it means you do not li- live up to the standards. You've fallen by the wayside. Do I'm sure that up. won't happen to you, though. Well, of course not, but do not live up or do not live at all. Some of your others might not survive. Well, we, we work together well as a team. I'm sure we'll all be fine, especially if... Um... Do you want to survive? Well, yes. And it kind of moves a little closer conspiratorially to you. Well, yes. Then you must choose which of the others will be sacrificed in your place. That turned dark in a hurry. <laughs> Not all of them are, are we there yet? <laughs> Not all of them are worthy. <laughs> I'm reading lips. <laughs> yeah, you're seeing that Finn is kind of conspiring a bit with uh, with uh, Zacchaeus, who seems to be mildly responding to it. Mm. I, I mean, I can read lips if it's a language I can mm-hmm. read. Oh, they're, so they're speaking common. It's I, nothing terribly common to me. So, I see that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Besides, it's not my choice to make. It's always your choice. If you don't make I'm the choice, sure the choice will be made for you, and that would be bad. And who makes this choice? The queen? No, the test makers. Whoever, Do we get to meet them before the tests? You'll meet them at the test. Whatever they may be. But maybe I've said too much. It's not oh, too much about your future. You should know. Watch out for that one. And he kind of uh, indicates over to Alzara. Oh. She's not affected properly by the hum. She'll need convincing. Convincing? Well... Let me tell you a thing as we're walking. <laughs> <laughs> well, Zara doesn't trust me to begin with. We've had a disagreement over a thing a long time ago, and... So she would choose you to be sacrificed? Well, I wouldn't say that exactly, but... No, I, I don't... I don't think she would choose anybody to be sacrificed. We, we work together. And we will work together to uh, earn your queen's blessing, and... Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> you, you've uh, been traveling for maybe a half an hour. Yeah, it's probably going to take hours for us to get there. Um, and it is, again, very, very dense jungle. Um, as you're moving through, you do hear the sounds of animals in multiple directions. 
Um, you hear um, the call of strange birds that you've never seen before. <laughs> That's a very strange bird. Mm-hmm. It's a monkey bird. Um, Flying monkey. At one point, they're bursting out of a collection of uh, vines. A, a low, maybe three foot tall animal, wide and with massive tusks, bursts through. Um, Finn, again, he's introduced himself now, says, Step back. It may be your test maker. Uh, but the wild the boar just charges right on through, seemingly not even paying attention to the rest of you coming through. If you're going to take the time. Oh, yeah, true. No. I don't think he's stopping, so I don't think we Finn, get a break. Finn is not running or rushing, but he is moving at a steady pace. Yeah. You, you kind of look at him and are kind of amazed at how easily he's traveling through the, uh, the vines and the trees, almost as though he's guided. Um, so, was the boar running from something? Did, he, did it look scared? Um... Make a nature check. Oh, shit. I should have asked y'all Sarah. <laughs> 11 plus, I'm pretty sure that's a zero. Oh, no, it's... Do I have to be trained in nature again? I forget. Uh, if just... you're not trained, you roll a disadvantage. One. So, yeah, that's... that's the boar... Pretty... It's clearly just not chosen by the queen. It, the, the, the boar looks as though uh, it was absolutely terrified by something. And you're pretty sure it was going to come forward to you until Finn waved his hand away and it moved away. Cool. Um, was that a hallucination or was that an actual thing? <laughs> who are you asking? <laughs> you think Never it was really. an actual thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, an hour passes. Finn grows quieter, but um, still guiding you on. Um, turns back and kind of keeps you trying to move all the time. The one who's having the hardest time of it is Iroh. Um, Iroh is uh, sweating like mad at this point and has been aggressively uh, going after the vines with the glaive as much as she can. Oftentimes she ends up having to move away from the group just to get through, just because it's far too dense for her and her four legs. Um, um, I will, I mean, slightly chill her, whatever harness she's wearing, to give her a little bit of respite, but uh, there's not much I can do other than that. Yeah, and that you have to be very close for that. You have to be within ten feet for that. Yeah, not to maintain it, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, I make sure just every hour I'll try that. And um, I'll try to engage her in conversation. All right. To calm her down and make um, things go more smoothly. Why does there have to be so much? So much. Is this part of the trial? Possibly. Do you hear it? That hum that the strange one spoke of? It is a beauty I have never heard before. Interesting. Can you describe it? Uh, then you do not hear it. I might. I don't. I, I hear something. It is. It is a presence. It is like. I cannot describe. When the thunder rolls across the land, it shakes it, and you can feel it to your very vo- very bones if you are in the right spot. It is like that, but not so violent. It is consistent. It is persistent. It, hmm. it is like a warm breeze that never stops blowing. Sounds like a powerful thing. It is glorious. I wish to see more of it. I wish to see if this queen will bless me with more of it. I'll scream oh, from well. near the front. Guys, hurry up! <laughs> They're coming. Uh, Clark, you're seeing the rest of them. Make an inside check. Sure. 14. 14? Elzera's looking very suspiciously at the rest of them, in particular, Zakis. Mm-hmm. That is not unusual. <laughs> it's not Make unusual. A but, uh, it's, <laughs> it's not unusual, but you think that she doesn't get it. Because she doesn't seem to be. You know instinctively which way to go, but she mm. seems to be wandering a bit. It's as though she doesn't hear it and doesn't get it. Maybe she needs help. 
got roots for brains. I'm sure she'll be fine. <laughs> She's made of plants. <laughs> I am the plant. I am the tree. <laughs> you can be if you cast a certain spell. El Sarah. Hey. So this is some kind of crazy jungle, right? Yes. Uh, El Sarah, from looking over at, uh, at Shank? Uh, Shank for the first time in a while, um, you notice that her armor is strangely sparkling. What's up with that? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the smartest, but this is magic, right? Probably. And we're going to take away a magic thing? Maybe? This is going to be a problem. <laughs> Why? Look at that guy. What? The He's guy. Been? The, yeah. yeah. He went crazy trying to get to this thing. Yep. There's going to be more crazies. Yep. <laughs> and we're going to need to fight them. Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, Finn, you casually waved away that charging boar. Can, any chance you can wave away the flies, too? Oh, are they bothering you? Well, yes, they're flies. But they are part of the hum. Everything here is a part of the hum. Can't you just modify it? Make a request to your queen, some prayer, something or other? Oh, I would never be so bold as to ask such a thing. You can ask her yourself, but I do not believe she will appreciate it. Well, I just... There's no harm in trying. <laughs> There's always harm in trying. <laughs> that is like the wizard's quote. <laughs> <That attitude. laughs> but if they truly bother you, then tell them to go away. If you are strong with it, if the hum truly resonates with you, then... I will focus and go away. Good okay. advice. Make a persuasion roll. Five. Uh, yeah, you, you feel yourself immediately get stung by something on the shoulder, which is weird because you're wearing the, the cloak and it theoretically shouldn't sting through the cloak. Mosquitoes can do that. Uh, and then you feel that itchy thing. sense in the back of your spine. It's like an ant's crawling up your back, your backbone. Is it still there? Uh, oh, yeah. I'll just like smack my back against the tree to squ squish it. Okay. Um, the tree kind of shakes a little bit and you feel the... The, uh, the small pop of a, or not pop, but a small uh, plop of a uh, caterpillar which lands upon your shoulder and starts to crawl across your shoulder. Um, it's the one that he didn't see that you're probably most concerned with, the one that landed kind of right back on the cowl that he can't yet feel. Okay, cool. I'm here laughing because Zach is the nature. <laughs> you notice veins of sparkle now. Not sparkle, that's the wrong, that's too diminutive. It's like it's a reflection. Like there are small elements of diamond that are suddenly emerging from your armor in different little spots. Mm. And it feels even more warm. Do I notice this, by the way? As I was, like, squatting away flies. You're a bit too involved in your own stuff at the You're moment. You're a dude at the front. Yeah. Um... Do you have to brush it off. <laughs> stone cunning? You don't have stone nope. cunning. Do you have uh, religion or history? No. Okay. Is there any way? Because I'm looking at it. It's specific to Shank. Could, yeah. um, you could make an arcana roll okay. if you're trained. No. Okay. <laughs> Something weird is happening definitely with, with Shank's armor. It may be a symptom of the same sort of thing. It may be affected by the hum. There's a sudden burst of rays of frost in front of... Now hit it! Uh, mm -hmm. As oh. Iroh crashes through uh, some of the now brittle, uh, non-moving plants, because technically ray of frost removes their movement, but they weren't really moving that much <laughs> to begin with. About an hour passes trying to make your way through. Uh... Those of you who failed the wisdom saving throw, mm -hmm. um, you feel the strength of the hum even more overwhelmingly. Now it feels as though it is of resonance in your very skull. Um, you're finding it a little bit difficult to see, um, but you move with an instinct, and this is something the two of you notice, actually three of you notice, is that they do seem to be less relying upon sight to move through, 
and just simply instinct. Even Iroh is managing to move now a little more deftly around these vines and trees. That's an improvement. Um, the rest of you do still have uh, 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 difficult terrain to move through, but they no longer seem to be suffering from that problem. Do I notice... Well, I'm assuming I would notice like how it's in my skull and I can't see anymore as well, but does that mean I can do another wisdom save? Um, like, do I notice the changes? You notice the changes, it means you're getting used to the forest. Okay. It means you can kind of go, okay, there is a reason, there is a logic, there's an order to all of these trees. It doesn't seem there. And obviously it is because of your own personal brilliance that no one else has noticed this. Yeah, I always knew I was a quick learner. I just even myself sometimes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Finn suddenly bolts forward. We're closer. We're closer. Wait Runs up. It could be the, dangerous. The, uh, woods. Each of you make a perception check. And Paul got perception is wisdom, right? Yes. Yeah. Paul got five. I will get a one. <laughs> okay. Um, you see the direction he took off in, but he quickly disappears into the, the trees itself. Um, you almost feel as though he's become one with the trees around him, uh, and it makes it much easier for him to hide. If you can learn that trick, then you would be the most powerful one here. You know this. Clerk will crouch down a little bit as he walks. Okay. And create a smaller profile. Okay. You no longer have uh, Finn around you as a guide, but you hear his voice off in the distance calling to you. This way, this way, quickly. Oh, you. And you don't hear him for a moment or two. I'm following Finn as closely as possible because I don't want him to like go, that, go ahead and set a trap for us. Oh, uh, Finn's on your side. I don't know. He seems pretty sketched, like telling me to kill my party members. Uh, no. Oh, no, no. You're, you're that seems fine. But you're under the influence of the hum right now. Yeah, but I still wouldn't go as far as, like, deciding which party member dies. Not, not yet. <laughs> yeah. yeah no. Hopefully I'll make the wisdom save for that stage. <laughs> right. uh. yeah. <laughs> like, sure, the uh, enhanced abilities is fun and all, but... Permanent advantage on wisdom saves. <laughs> I'll get something that does that eventually. You move through the jungle, and the you notice this in particular because you've been paying attention to the nature around you and the sounds of these animals. There is a hush that falls across the forest. Only you seem to have noticed it at first. Most of them seem to be content in moving forward. Um, the second to notice it will be uh, Amrun, as the as the birds have stopped cheer, chirping, and even the insects seem to have moved away somewhat. Uh, I think something's coming. I look at the other two people who are still having a hard time moving around here. It's like uh, I think it's just us. <laughs> I have a plan though. I mean, I should be fine. We might end up having to fight the rest of us. The three of you make perception checks. Thirteen. Thirteen? Seventeen. Okay. Um, we're going to roll initiative. Everybody rolls initiative. Yeah, son of a... One! We'll get to it in a moment here. <laughs> you have, that's a One two, more I bad think. roll, and that dice is going into dice crash. I think you've actually got a two, though. <laughs> yeah, no, but like a natural one. <laughs> I got a five. Okay. Twenty-five to thirty? 20 to 25? Uh, 18. 18, that's not 20 oh, to 25. 21. 21? Paul got. Paul gets a 17 plus. Oh. 19. 19, okay. 
So uh, 15 to 19, you got a 18. 18. Where'd you go here? The pink one. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I pull from my own as well. Okay, that's decisively interesting. Do, 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 do. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, that was 15 to 20, 10 to 15. 10. 10? Uh, 5 to 10. Iro is at 9. Okay. <laughs> and I'm at 5. <laughs> okay. Uh, and uh, one to five, two. All right. Bit of a nice spread out there. Yeah, yeah interesting. So All it's right. been over an hour at this point. It has been over an hour at this point. Yes. Is this counted as a rest or? No, you've been walking the entire time <laughs> through heavy, heavy. Um, that's what I thought. We've been hiking. Yeah. All right. The hum was pretty relaxing. I'm pretty sure I should get like one spell slot back. Please. Or do I just feel like I have a spell slot? You back? feel like you have a spell slot back, but you do not actually have a spell slot. You feel like you get all your spell slots back. I'm gonna address and, like, the scene level here. Level nine spells. Do take a moment to do that. Address the scene. Is it mini break time. Uh, if people want to take a mini break, it's not a bad idea. Yes, I have to use it. Sure. Yeah. I mean, we just barely got started, but... I'm trying to be healthy and hydrate. Hydration is good. I tell people every night, every day. Alright. Wasn't sure how this one was going to start, so I'm going to change my idea a little bit. The place of these might be limited by my reach. <laughs> More than anything else. Are these tree stumps? They're trees. Nice. Mm. It's a very dense jungle. This is really only a representation of the biggest of the trees. Yeah. The area is still difficult terrain, except for Zagus. Actually, except for those who succumb. Yeah. Uh, the symbol tree there probably needs to be moved to this one. Yeah. Cool. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, you guys are approaching from. Uh, Please tell me that's not all drawings. <laughs> no. No, those all represent different trees. Um, all of those are just the significant sized trees. Everything else is considered to be difficult terrain. Um, the trees are all 30 or 40 feet high fairly uh, uh, thick trunk trees, and you can consider it to be a solid canopy, essentially, up about 30, 40 feet. Where's Finn? Uh, sorry? Where's Finn? You don't see Finn. It's like I was trying to follow him as quickly as possible. Yeah, but well, he ran off He ran off the distance, and so you heard him, but you didn't see him. But which way did he run off to? This way, roughly. <laughs> All right. I would be around Amrun. He just knocked over a tree. You're welcome. Critical hit. Well, Am Amrun was off with Iro, so oh. he might be yeah, a little ways off away. Side of he would have moved a little closer when he started. Uh, yeah, don't forget Paul. Were you creeping around the trees? Not on purpose. Okay. <laughs> a little ways away. Like, I'm pretty like sure this is how I died. The, the trees would be wide enough to suffice for cover. Okay. So, uh, let's see. 
is the range. Okay. All right. The okay. I ran ahead, but my initiative was like the lowest. <laughs> I'm sure that'll work out fine. I know, right? Do I survive a round? Who knows? The squishy maid right at the front. Hmm? Make a wisdom saving throw. As you move it into this suddenly quiet Six. area. This one's going in dice trash. It hasn't rolled above ten this entire day. Okay. This could be an interesting start. That is how we lost our reason. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it would be to the books, but no. He was shiny to the end. Stupid nature. <laughs> uh, the, the trees weren't turning into books fast enough, so we just went into the trees. <laughs> I'll make my own library. That might be the twist. This is the library. It is. The woods have much to teach us. Mm. But there is a library in here, though. Yeah, you just gotta turn these all into books. No, I mean, like, the place we're retrieving the artifact from. That was a library. We're being smartasses. <laughs> I, I know, I'm just trying to, like, ignore the smartasses. Oh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I meant to do this book camping earlier, <laughs> but then earlier it happened later. So you might need this. No, I can't. Okay. Look at I it can. <laughs> oh, I can. I can not get it for that song, but... Yes. Alright. Ooh, that's not bad. You take 19 points of psychic damage. Yes. And you are stunned for one minute. At the end of your turn, you can repeat your saving okay. throw. Your turn doesn't come for a while. Yeah, no. <laughs> As all of you see, uh, Zacchaeus kind of stiffen and grab his head. As you see movement above him in the tree. <clears throat> a strange looking monkey, one that you saw earlier, hanging upside down, gray skin, large, uh, sharp-looking teeth, uh, and it calls out uh, in, a, in a, uh, a baboon, monkey-like way. Responding to it are several others along the way. Also make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, let's see here. That's a big uh, four. Wow. Let's drink it in. That is 15 psychic points of damage, and you are stunned for one minute. Uh, as a second one reveals itself, tree in front of you. Uh, and I take it they're 30 or 40 feet up. Uh, they're in. They're hanging in the trees, so 20 feet up basically at this point. Uh, okay. You do hear the response of several other calls throughout the spread here. Followed by um, Rune, actually, next, because you were aware that there was something happening, so you do not succumb in this, in this surprise round. <coughs> ah! Um. Hmm. Well, does that work? Well. I will move three forward, at the very least. Uh, what is the effect of the banner? Nothing yet. I have to trigger it. Okay. It's just. Fake. I might as well trigger it now, though, in case it helps some of the others. Uh, I jam it into the ground and. Uh, Use freedom of thought. I spend the one charge it has, 
And for the next minute, anyone within 30 feet of the banner has advantage on saves against fear, charm, and mind control. So it may help the two of them and the NPCs. But that's all I can do. And it won't protect against the monkeys. All right. Hopefully the monkeys go after those who are more threatening than I am. They're monkeys. They probably just go whoever's closest. I have no bananas on me. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. Um, you hear a resounding, uh, uh, deep, uh, thrumming uh, call from off in that direction. Roughly the direction you came from. Okay. Um, it, it sounds as though a deep bellowing growl followed by the heavy beating of a chest as something comes charging through the forest. It hasn't arrived yet, but you do know it's coming from the direction roughly you came in. Uh, a second one is heard off to the, essentially the north of this map as well. Then we begin initiative proper. Uh, Shank, you're up first. All right. So I heard the big thing coming from behind us. Mm -hmm. and I have no ranged attacks. So I am going to just ready my action in the event that anything comes. Okay. Ready your attack? Yes. So you're holding by with your your uh, hammers? War picks. War picks, sorry. Paul. Oh, uh, by the way, again, anybody who did succumb to the hum has freedom of movement within here. It's regular movement. Those who did not uh, succumb to it are still uh, using it as difficult terrain. Uh, now, Paul? does Paul get another save? Because he's inside the area that I just protected. It doesn't give saves. It just makes saves uh, What better, is the bonuses to? Uh, mind control, uh, resist mind control, charm, and fear. Yes. So he gets to save versus the second damage, or...? Uh, no, he doesn't. No. He hasn't not taken the second damage. It's saving versus the hum. Yeah. He gets advantage on it. Ten. Ten? He still seems to be affected by it. Okay. But he will... He has a spear, right? Mm-hmm. He's gonna rage, first of all. Okay. So that's his second rage for today. And he will throw the spear at one of the monkeys that are in the air. Okay. What's the range on the spear? Uh, thrown 20 slash 60. So it will be a disadvantage at that distance. Yep. Because they're 20 feet up. Okay. So hopefully both of these roll fairly high. And there's a 4 and an 8. What's the total? Uh, what's this? 4 plus... Six. Yeah, so ten. Not quite. The spear goes flying off through the uh, through the tree, but he attacked, and that's important for his rage. And he'll probably have difficulty finding that spear later. Can you um, make a perception check to see where it went? Uh, sure. <laughs> Nat twenty. Twenty. He knows where it is. He <laughs> okay. can pick it up later. Elzera. Uh, I am going to where do you cast want it to be? freedom of movement mm -hmm. on oh. myself. Uh, let's have it over by that tree. There? Yeah, that's good. I'm going to cast Freedom of Movement. Okay. Because, fuck that. <laughs> um, because it's not concentration. It's great. Uh, buffs for days. And I am going to activate my shield. Okay. Jump. Jump. Is that, that isn't that out of charges per day or anything? Okay. Nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. And um, are you moving? Um, you have seen a lot of animals in nature, but none seem to exude the sense of malevolence that this strange form of monkey does. 
You can see uh, from the distance as you get closer, um, its claws are, are long and curved and hooked. Uh, its teeth seem to be uh, much, much larger than you initially saw. And there's just this look in its eyes, its upside down face, which is it's sort of following you as, it move, as you move through. Where did you move to? Uh, behind the tree. Okay. Uh, make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, that's a 27. 27. Um, you feel a wave of malevolence coming towards you as the zoo monkey in this tree reveals itself. I don't have all the same minis, so they're just going to have to suffice. Uh, okay. And that one... The one that's in front of Clark launches out of the tree and starts to attack Clark. Oh. <laughs> um, were you stunned? Uh, no. Okay. He's wounded, mentally. Oh, well, do you, do you suffer the psychic Psychically crush? Wounded. Okay, then you are then stunned. You are stunned. Oh, okay. that, that's yeah, the yeah. other part of that. You'll have a chance at the end of your turn to, to recover from that. Uh, as it lashes out with its claws. 22 hits. Yep. Uh, that is nine points. Okay. And then go, moves in for a bite. Uh, ooh, that's terrible. I believe a ten misses. Yes. Um, it's then going to scramble back up the tree. Okay. And see, that one. Uh, same sort of thing, launching down at... Zacchus. That's move 10. That's basically Mercy. fall at that point. It's just a leap. Okay. Well, yeah. I suppose it could like 10 feet or something. Yeah. Uh, 23 to hit? Yeah. Okay. Also, if you're stunned, they think they get an advantage on attack anyway. Yeah. Six points of slashing damage. And again, this one's going to try to take a bite out of you. Does a 15 hit you? Yes. Four points of piercing damage as it takes a large chunk. Uh, then proceeds to go back up to the tree. Uh, yep, he will go right back where he was, actually, 20 feet up. Uh, let's see. Oh. Nope. Okay. Let's see. In range for that. Okay. Clark. Oh. You can feel the pain of the uh, slashes across you and the bite that it took out of, the, out of your shoulder. Mm. You can feel that edge of uh, movement start to come back in. Make a wisdom saving throw. Uh, fail the five. Nope. Okay. Yeah, fail the five. You are still held. Okay. Keep track of the rounds, because at ten rounds, it's over. Does that okay. count as a mind control or charm? Uh, or fear? Hmm. I mean, it's fairly specific to those. It's, so it's really just a psychic attack. Okay. Uh, they call it psychic crush. Um, Iro. Uh, hmm. Does Iro have anything ranged? Oh, a light hammer. Okay. Well, she'll go 10, 20, 30, 40, and whip a hammer up at it. 20 feet right up. Is it, isn't that monkey 10 feet in the air? Or no? Hmm? How far up in the air is that one? 20 feet up. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. um, what's the, uh, what are her feats? Hooves, technically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she has great weapon fighting. Then she has combat superiority. I don't know what 
her feet is. Okay. Uh, do, she has maneuvers, though. Yep. Disarming, strike, lunging, attack, and sweeping attack. Okay. I believe lunging attack allows her to extend her range if she wanted to. Mm-hmm. So she's only five foot outside of its range. Her her She stands five feet tall. The range gives t- is ten for the weapon. So she could do a lunging attack and actually okay. hit it. Nice. Sure. She will do a lunging attack then, as that's what she um, enjoys doing. And that does you use one of your superiority dice, but you roll yep. it to add to the attack. Uh, attack or damage? Uh, both, I believe. If you hit, it uh, does damage. I don't think it adds. I don't think any of them add to both. Um, actually, I think a number of them do. Um, we can look it up real quick just to make sure. Stupid cleric's taking up so much of the book. <laughs> Great weapon fighting, spirit maneuvers. So much Lunging attack. Uh, add range five feet. If you hit, your, uh, it's just if you hit, add the superiority to die to the damage roll. It doesn't add to the dam- to the attack. It just gives you a chance to hit something. Okay. She gets, however, a total of 20. That is definitely a hit. So that's d10 plus d8. Mm -hmm. Uh, Actually, it's minus one of those. Uh, That's 15 slashing damage. Okay. Um, She uh, slices across. You can see it actually is uh, one of its small paws off. Uh... She has a second attack as well. Well, might as well lunge again. 20 also to hit. <laughs> That's definitely a hit. Yeah, 11 slashing. Oh. Uh, as the, the, uh, the glaive goes sliding on through, opening up a very nasty looking wound in its side, blood trickles down upon the glaive and upon the grass. It's hanging on by a thread. Um, and that was her move action and bonus action. I don't think she has any. Okay. I'm Rune, you're up. Well, okay. Uh, okay. I'm going to zap it with a ray of frost. Okay. That's a 21 to hit. <laughs> That's definitely a hit. And 14 damage. As the the ray twists around the vines, it catches it in the in the uh, head, and uh, the head kind of goes, and the thing falls out of the tree at minus ten feet. At, uh, at yeah, it falls only ten <laughs> feet down, and hovers there as the game glitches for a moment or two. <laughs> no, you have killed that one. Yeah. Right. I suppose they probably don't have anything to loot on them, so we can probably just take them off. Uh, okay. Uh, does that do anything to his psychic hold? Um, hmm, probably not, but I get a check. No, no. Okay. Basically, your system has been overwhelmed, and you kind of have to keep shaking it off, try to find that pathway back to, to existence once more. All right. Uh, let's see. Which direction first? Oh, I'll wait a minute. I do have a bonus action. <laughs> I forgot. Sorry. Uh, I make a... Uh, glowy, watery, speary thing right up beside this guy, 20 feet up. Okay. And it takes its attack. Oh, rolls a natural one and misses. Mm-hmm. Okay. Poking okay. away in the tree. <laughs> well, it's way up there. Yep. Yeah. Alright. That's a branch that falls on Elzara. <laughs> uh, let's see. Alright. I only have one of these, so you'll have to pretend that the other one is the same. Um, as you see... Uh, charging out of the forest. In fact, you see it kind of running straight for you. Uh, This enormous um, 12 foot tall gorilla with four arms uh, as it uh, it starts to slaver its jaws open wide and looks straight at you and comes crashing through uh, to land right there. So this is when I get my attacks? Uh, you are holding your action, yep. so yes, it's moved within a range. Alright, so I get three. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
cut off three of its arms. <laughs> it's gonna be really difficult with picks. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So the first is ten. That is a miss. Twelve. <laughs> that is also a miss. Eight. Eighteen. Eighteen is a hit. Wow. That, Five damage. That was an unfortunate round. <laughs> okay. Um, Here's the cop! <laughs> it's a giant four-armed monkey runs out of the woods. I was not prepared for this. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly not. Uh, and then bounding out from the other side, let's see. Um, I got a bear we can use. No, I have one for it. Okay. Uh, I just got to figure out exactly where it wants to go to. It would end up running out to here. Uh, it stands there, kind of bearing its arms and bellowing a challenge to all that would come in. Um, let's see. Uh, Zacchus. Wisdom save. Because I feel so empowered by the hum, do I get that at advantage? Nope. Oh. The other one thing I have to do, though. Yeah, that's a good. Fifteen one. plus okay. two, so seventeen. So you feel you 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 feel the hum has definitely influenced you, and you follow its wonderful, delightful sound back to the motion of your fingers, and now you're ready. Yeah, I bet you that was a test that I'm not going to fail it. Was, no, that, was that my turn? Or you get to resist. That's the at the hum? end of the turn. Uh, no. Okay. Mm -hmm. One thing at a time. Yep. Okay. So I, I, do I get to move at all? Or? Uh, nope. That's the end yeah. of your turn. Yeah. Uh, at short. the beginning. Let's see. Seems to be uh, let's see. That one got it back. So the one that has been uh, aimed at by the. Oh, let's see which way they want to do that. Yeah, aimed at by the uh, spiritual weapon does not like that. Uh, actually, he's not doing too bad. But. It will leap down once again upon Clark. For a mm, long sheet. 20 to hit. Yep. As once again it takes a swipe with its claws. For uh, five points of slashing damage. Okay. And once more trying to take a chunk out of you. Oh. But unnerved by the uh, the trying to skitter down and avoid the strange glowing uh, pikey thing, uh, it, uh, it does not manage to bite you. Mm. It will, however, scurry over. Hmm. It will scurry over to the other side of him. So just there? No, the other side of of uh, sorry of Shank. Okay, so, 5, 10, 15, 20... Flank the shank. <laughs> shank flanking, yes. Is it 25 or 30? Uh, 25. Okay. Well, actually, they do have 30, but it took 5 to, to leap out of the tree. Uh, let's see. That was the monkeys there. Uh, since they don't seem to have the, the advantage anymore, uh, they will just simply start to move. As you see, leaping from the tree over here, one leaps towards that one, one leaps over there, one leaps there, uh, one appears there. Yeah, that's not gonna end well. This is a lot of one monkeys. Appears there. As they are emboldened by the the uh, the return of their larger brethren, and decide to make themselves known, uh, and they are all screeching like mad. All right. Uh, that was them. Shank, you're up. Uh, you find I, yourself surrounding, and then a, a strange, streaking, screeching monkey comes running up behind you. I will throw three at the one that just ran up behind me. Okay. So you kind of spin around, ignoring the massive gorilla in front of you. I don't like being flanked. That's better. Uh, Twenty-five to hit. <laughs> yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> You spin around with the pike in full, full whirling motion. 
That's 11 damage. Oof. Okay. Nice. Cracking it solidly against the side of the head and the little spike going into its cheekbone. Second attack. Not as good. Uh, 11 to hit. Uh, that is a miss. As when you <laughs> kind of pull the other spike, it just sort of goes <laughs> and it squeals down, scrunches down to get away from it. Third. 11 again. Ah. Uh, it's it's now cr uh, crouching down low, looking like it's going to go after your legs. Are you going to move? Uh, no, because I'm surrounded. Okay. Uh, it's still an option. It just is a bad option. It Paul. Is. Paul will. Is Paul still uh, stunned? No. Oh no, that's he right. He threw the he threw the uh, yeah. thing last round. Which is too far away, so he will grab his sword and. Well, Paul's a pretty strong guy. Although I don't want to get him into that mix because he might get killed. He could run over here. There's because something nice rubbish. and big for him to hit. No, he doesn't because he... Doesn't he can move at normal speed. Yep, he was right. affected by the hum. He's one of the possessed. He can hit. He can have him room for there. Yes. <laughs> Large monkey. It's true. Reckless attack. All right. So that just gives me advantage on the first attack, right? Yep. And I only have one attack, so, okay, cool. 19 plus, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a hit. And that's a hit. Five. And do I get more damage for reckless attack or no? Uh, it's, no, you, get you get sure. your rage adds to it. So... Probably. Damage plus two, so you do 2d6 plus six. So nine plus six, 15. Oof. Nice. <laughs> yeah, he takes the massive sword and cleaves into the back of the gorilla. Rah! Which looks unimpressed. Um, Actually, he doesn't have to reckless attack on those, because he has advantage on strengths. Uh, that doesn't account for attacks, it's strength checks. Yeah. Okay. Do I only get one of those per day or no? Otherwise it'd be redundant. No, you can reckless attack anytime you want to. Okay, so once per round. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Elzera. I see big buddy there, I'm mm -hmm. guessing. Oh, they're pretty obvious now. They're pretty obvious. Uh, and he takes up four squares? Uh, they are considered large, so yes. Okay. Um, so I'm going to... Does anybody, can I steal one of those poker chips from you? Sure. So I'll give you a oh, red wait. one so it stands out. Uh, I'm going to place a moonbeam. Nice. Right here. Okay. Uh, you notice that the moonbeam is surrounded by swirling motes of light that you did not see before. Interesting. Um, and that's level three. Um, okay. Uh, and that is my action, which I will take the card out, so I have that in front of me. And then... What can I do as a bonus? Not much, I don't think. Okay, and you're staying where you are? Okay. Uh, nope. I'm going to... One, two, three. One, two... I'm going to go over here. Yeah, it's all good. I can't turn into my beast film anyway. Okay, that's happening. Clark. Uh, I'd like to roll the move, please. All right, let's attempt this moving thing. Yeah. Moving things are fun. With the truck a moving. Uh, let's try 18 this time. Eight. 18 is a success. You yeah, feel yeah, your yeah. limbs fill once more with your own motive. Sweet. And your turn's done. Yeah. And your yeah. turn's done. <laughs> I wrote. That's a less fun card. Uh, uh, you can knock that one off the branch maybe. Well, yeah, she's only got like two maneuver, uh, two maneuver dice left. Oh, okay. So, uh, hmm. It's up to you. Would Iroh... Well, no, she can charge into those anyways because there's a big beam around them. 
But she can certainly charge on that if she wants to. Well, that's up to you. you uh, <laughs> I'm running the combat stats for the character, but you're the she, one who rolls. She's not her. dumb, uh, and uh, she would see she, that she as an obvious threat. She could go here because it's only in those four squares. She has a reach. Yeah, weapon. she does have a ranged weapon. Yeah, or range. Reach yeah, weapon. is that puts her close to being surrounded by psychic monkeys. Yeah. Uh, she'll pull back to help protect the others. So. Zoom. Okay. And whackity whack on the smaller of the two to clear up some movement. There's some area. First one, she gets a 15. Uh, that's a hit. Six slashing. Okay. Second one, she only gets a nine. That is a miss. So she reaches out with the glaive, and it has enough reach to reach down on the thing, which is cowering down upon the ground now. But after seeing the, the glaive from above, it kind of moves out of the way. Uh, let's see. Amrun. Well. Huh. Again, I think we need to get rid of the stuff behind us. It's like, oh, I missed that part. Okay. What? Oh, nothing. You'll see. Hey, Shank, how's it? Oh, my God! <laughs> well. Uh, okay, Paul, I know, was hurt. Ivan was hurt. Zakis was hurt. Yeah. Um, I will let go with uh, a... Uh, Oh, I forgot I could have done that. Oh. Uh, Siphon life. All nine dice against that. Okay. So what kind of resistance is it? Uh, constitution save. Okay. For half damage. Uh, that's an 11. Does not beat my 16. Okay. That's 11. 16, 20... 30. Whew. So it loses 30 points. You see it. You see it's uh, the luster of its fur just sort of drain out as this clearly necromantic spell has gone off. Uh, also, mm. I'm excited about this part. But if Zach gets used necromancy, he's it. bad. Wow. To them, it's not so necromantic. To you guys, it looks that way. Mm. I'm ruined. Putting the romantic into the necromantic. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> And I'm like, what else? Uh, mm -hmm. Does Shank look injured? Nothing's hit me yet. Okay. I will give uh, nine to Iro. Uh, is Paul badly injured? Uh, Paul's at 31 out of 43. So he's pretty heavily hit. I'll give him 10. I should give him 11. I think it's a nice round number. And I'll give uh, Zacchus 10, because he's the other one that's in close enough. The energy seems to go strangely, however. The normal tendrils of blue and white uh, reach into the creature, hauling back this whitish energy which you then redistribute. But you do see motes of light spinning around it all. And there is a burst of, of, uh, of greenish energy that emerges from you. You and anyone within 30 feet of you is now vulnerable to piercing damage. Interesting. Uh, and then it is their turn. Let's see. Is there a duration on that? Or? Uh, it, it lasts for one minute. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So avoid getting pierced by anything. Uh, the Gorillon turns towards Paul, and then flexing all four of its arms, because I forgot it had four arms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it then proceeds to try to pummel him. It's got advantage, too, because I reckless it. <laughs> uh, yep. So, a 20 to hit. Yep. For five points. Uh, halved. Right. Um, a... So, half, like, 2.5 or 3? Or 13 three, okay. to hit. Uh, nope. Okay. A 21 to hit. Yes. Which is six points. So three. And a 24 to hit. Yes. For seven points. So three. And then it lunges in with its teeth. Oops. What should I be at? That's a 19 to hit. 
19 Wait, hits. Wait, I'm lost. What was the last several numbers? Uh, it was math. two, five, eight damage so far from his original... I think he had 43 at that point. I had 42 at the beginning. Okay, 42. Minus 8? Yeah, yep, so thanks. 34. And 8 piercing damage, which is not reduced. It's actually doubled. Because so he's vulnerable to it now. Yep, yeah, but he's also resistant to it. So it they would balance. cancel each other out. Hmm. He'd take the full damage instead and normally of Normally it's the... It. The prevalent effect, not the not canceling in that case. Uh, I'll say eight damage. It's, it's just going to cancel it out. So he so takes another eight, eight, eight so sixteen. So he's down to twenty-six. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen is a hit. Next time there's NPC sheets, somebody uh, nine like could pass okay. the second great match. And with that, as it's turned away from you and yeah, kind of, kind of just starting to pummel on Paul, in. you find that one spot between the two arms on the left-hand side to just poke inward. And you notice as your, your pike digs in deeper than you expected it to, and it's dead. So every, okay, so dead. everything, yeah, everything's vulnerable to, yep. to that then. Okay. Because your picks are piercing. Nice. How much damage was that? Nine. Uh, Lots. Uh, yeah, I did nine. So 18? Ooh, yeah. Yes, it was, yeah. Uh, let's see, that makes it, is yeah. that one's turn, the other one... Makes a constitution saving throw. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. Do you okay, do? if that sort of thing happens here a lot, Ten. then you and me are going to stick close Ten. to each other. Yep. Then it takes full damage, which is... Seven, did you attack any fourteen... Spiritual no, uh, I missed wow. the only time uh, I hit. 17 uh, radiant damage. Okay. Uh, it is not pleased to be stuck in this uh, giant uh, light. Uh, let's see. And wait, do the monkeys in the trees go before uh, on B or A? The monkeys in the trees are B. Okay, so that one should have made one as well. Hmm? The one in the tree there? The monkeys haven't gone yet since you cast that. Oh, wait, they should yeah. have gone since then. Wait, what happened there? I thought they, so just I, I thought they were A. The gorillas so. just went. Oh, sorry, it wouldn't be... Yeah, sorry, I got ahead of myself. No, I, I, no Amruin just acted. Yeah. yeah. I so think you the, just I, skipped, I skipped the monkeys. Well, then they're going to have an action now. Okay, that one gets to make a save. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that is a fail, I'm pretty sure. That one takes a little bit less. That's seven thirteen. Okay. Radiant. That's still not pretty for them. All right. Let's see. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, five, actually, six. it's not that guy. It's another one. He's fine. Yeah, okay. So right, now, every the only things that are vulnerable to piercing are right here. Everything else is too far away. All right. So it's mostly us. Yeah, it's like our whole group except for Elzera. Plus, there's a monkey here. Yes. All right. So that one will leap forward to there. Whoops. <laughs> Tree falls under. Oh, oh, Acrobatics no. check. <laughs> Didn't hear a thing. It gets to see a glowy thing in front of it. This one will here. They're running out of spots to move to. Uh, that last one can move onto the tree. <laughs> Um, let's see. Okay, so now seeing where they're seeing. Uh, oh, okay. Make a wisdom saving throw. Twenty-seven. No problem. You shake <laughs> off the effects of the of the possible psychic damage. Uh, Zakis. Mm -hmm. Wisdom saving throw. Eleven. 13, I'm pretty sure. 13 is enough. Hey! Whoa! Uh, just barely enough. Now do it again. <laughs> uh, Seven. Seven is not enough. So while the first one who leapt forward glared at your direction, it does not seem to affect you. The second one beside him does uh, for 17 points of psychic damage, and you are stunned once more. Uh, Amrun, make a wisdom saving throw. Ten. Not enough. As you find yourself... That's not as bad. Twelve points of psychic damage and you are stunned. 
That one can't do anything from there. Can't do anything from there. So, fasting, fast forward to the other Gorillon's uh, moment. Uh, Sorry, man. <laughs> uh, inside the area. Oh yeah, that's right, I was counting. Um, it yells out in anger as it feels the strange moonlight glow over its skin. It looks over in your direction and runs. And then you can see it gathering speed as it runs. It runs right up to you. Good and then attacks. Azar's uh, over there. Azar's there. over there. There's a tree blocking directly. Mm -hmm. It runs yep. around it. Yeah, it runs around it. Uh, like little, here. little insight. Yeah, a little insight. Uh, these creatures have aggressive. It's a bonus action. It can move up to its speed towards a hostile target that it can see. And it considers you hostile. Oh, I don't get advantage on those rolls, though. Uh, does a 23 hit? I think so. Okay. Not sure. Well, we'll check in a moment. Uh, 10 points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, 12 probably doesn't hit. No. Uh, 17? Yes, just. For 7 points of slashing damage. As it unloads 24? Yes. For 6 points of slashing damage. Pass all my con saves. Okay. And then oh, the bite the is a six. natural 20. Uh, six points on the last one. The bite is a natural 20. Yep. For six points of piercing damage. Were you within the 30 no. radius? Okay. She was the only one not. Yep. Okay. As it lamb bastes you. I'm down to 37. I don't like being below 40 mm -hmm. hit points, guys. Uh, and then the last one is still a pass. Okay. Azakis. 12. 12 is enough. Yep. Perfect. You are free to have movement okay. once more. I can move? Like, no. That well, wasn't my you, can, you can wiggle your toes. You won't get a chance to okay. uh, act yeah. again. Yeah. It's end around. Maybe next time I'll get to do something. Uh, uh, let's see. Hopefully not die. But. Nobody within range, so Shank, you're up. All right. Kill that monkey. <laughs> Jesus, monkey. Still there. Yep. Holding on for dear life. What goes before me? What is A? Uh, you don't know. Okay. Uh, three attacks on the monkey. <laughs> okay, poor little monkey. Uh, 14 to hit? Uh, that is a hit. Uh, double damage. Double damage. Oh yeah, it's piercing. Mm -hmm. uh, so six, wait, uh, 10? 20. 20? So, with that, uh, you lodge it into its neck and rip its whole head right off. And... I guess I can start movement at this point. Mm. So I hit like two. It's difficult terrain. Alright. Paul. Paul is going to... Oh, it's no longer a target-rich environment. No, most of them are out of range, or out of, yeah. out of height. Well, he'll go charge towards... Mm. Well, he sees that thing over there, right? Yep, mm -hmm. another giant gorilla. Uh, he gets to mo move full movement. Yeah, he was affected. He yeah, could... Uh, mm -hmm. He could dash right up to it if he wanted to. At least we put it in a threat zone. Yeah, Not that it's just likely move. to move away. Yeah, I'm just saying basically if, some, if it decides to leave the area for a bit, if you're next to it, oh, you right. get an attack of opportunity. Okay. So you would be in the square because he takes up all four. Okay. Essentially, yeah. Uh, Elzera. I say this because... <laughs> Wait, you can replace the paper menu with the other menu. We can. Mm. Nah, don't for the moment. Okay. Mm. Sorry. Oh. Mm. Oh. Uh, it only moves 30, right? It moves 60. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mine only moves 20, but hers is a lot longer. Uh, I'm just like, ah! 
bring that up. Um, and as a bonus, what can I do? Is there anything that I can do? You know what? I'm going to cast a level one healing word on myself. <laughs> Actually, level two. Okay. As you utter the magic words. So that's seven, unless something else affects it? Uh, no, you utter the words of, of power, and it seems to go off. But then something weird seems to happen in the midpoint, right where the air is, right where in front of you, as the words come out, they seem to coalesce and sparkle, and then produces a tiny little spark of red that then explodes. Hopefully it's not piercing damage. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a small fireball. Right. It certainly looks like a fireball. I know. Dexterity saving throw for you, Paul. Uh, you're just outside of the Clark, uh, and the gorilla. On. Paul gets an 18. Total or 20. 20 total. Okay. Uh, hmm. What is your uh, spell save DC? 15. 15. So you and Paul succeed. The gorilla did not. Um, why don't you? Eh, well, I'll roll it because I don't get to roll these very often. As a fireball explodes in your face. I didn't know I could do that. Yeah. For twenty-one points, so uh, you and Paul each take ten. The grill on takes the full amount, which is definitely not happy for him. So it's like wild magic whenever somebody casts a healing spell. Probably. Um, it so far seems to have been any spell. Yeah, well, and it's not just spells, because mine was an innate ability. Uh, sorry, what was the. What am I doing? It was you, so. Yep. She cast uh, a healing fireball. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Fireball of healing. That's how that works, right? Totally. Right. Um, and Kanse that one, made it. That one. That one. Uh, Are you making con saves? Concentration. Oh, concentration. Yep. I'm remembering to do them. Look at that. Look at me being remembering things. Okay. Uh, let's see. Those have all recharged. Clark, were you stunned? Uh, just got out of it. Just got out of it. Yeah. Um, Iroh makes a wisdom saving throw. Okay. She gets an 18. That's a success. She shakes off the effect. Uh, let's see who else. She's getting really range. angry at monkeys right now. Uh, I'm ruined. Makes a wisdom saving throw. Twelve. Okay, and a second one. Excuse me. Twelve. <laughs> okay, uh, and Zakas appears to be moving, so there'll be one against him as well. I haven't moved yet. No, but you started twitching. I saw your toes. 18. 18 oh. is a success. So, all three of them are done. Um, <laughs> sorry. The ones to the back start gibbering madly. Um, and a louder roar can be heard. Nothing happens at the moment, however. Clark. Ah. A router roar from roughly this area. Now that there can be movement to be had, mm -hmm. I'll move uh, forward to the side of the tree where okay. the monkey sits. If able, uh, he'll draw his bow and, and arrows Here. as part of his movement. Okay. Uh, the uh, bonus action will be to hide behind that tree. You can't hide from hit it, but you can hide from others. That's the plan. Okay. I'm hiding from those. Okay. That way. Yep. Uh, 
Would you like a stealth roll? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, 19. 19 is a good stealth roll. Probably hidden. And then the action is to poison three arrows. Pulls a little bottle and dips them in a thing and corks it and puts it back. <laughs> okay. And that's his action. The arrows are ready. All right. Uh, Iro. Well, I was like, hmm. Clump, 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 clump. Stab, stab. My, there it is. First one, she gets a 17. That's a hit. Second one, she gets a 22. <laughs> That's also a hit. So, first one is it's probably nine right. slashing. Okay. Second. Uh, it was not caught in that range. Second one is six slashing. So, 15 total. All right. Um, and you can see that its, it's uh, entire front, all the furs burned off in this fireball that was unexpected in front of its face. Uh, and as the glaive kind of carves up and it carves across its back, leaving this massive gash into which he jabs the glaive for the second attack, going even deeper in. Probably at least a foot deep now. Probably hit something vital. Good. Uh, but it stands still. I'm Rune. Huh. Well. I am going to... Move three. Uh, Still got the flowing thing. Yep, it's a bonus action. Uh, I'll use it first just to see if it manages to kill the monkey, but uh, it'll try to stab the monkey that conveniently jumped up next to it. That's a 27. <laughs> that is a hit. And... Hmm. Yeah, I might as well. I will hit it with. Uh, I'll use the root of all things to add a D8 blunt damage, and it must make a strength save or be knocked down. Who? Yeah, let's do this. So I take. Uh, it wasn't. Vulnerable to piercing, as far as I know, but nope. it takes two piercing and seven blunt, so nine total. Oof, okay. And did it make a strength save against 16? Uh, it did not, so it falls out of the tree. Ah! That's 20 feet up, so wouldn't it take damage? Uh, it will roll to roll with it. That was not successful, so yes, it takes another d6 damage. Uh, it'd be two d6, I think. Uh, it's and. Oh, no, it's still alive. Hey. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty damn close, as it kind of collapses into an ugly well, heap at the bottom. Like two. <laughs> uh, single digits. Um, that's an easy enough, easy enough tell, I think, at that point. Uh, Amrun uh, is done. Oh, yeah, but that, no, that's, let's see, my... You can walk up and, like, stab it with a... I don't, I don't carry weapons. <laughs> um, uh, I will just... Frost blast that. Okay. It's been going pretty well so far. I shot. Nah, I'll just frost blast the one that's down. Okay. Why allow it to make an attack? So it doesn't screech anymore. 26. Else. That is a hit. It takes 13. That is done. Shatters. Frozen monkey. Now, I don't think I have anything actually appropriate in size, so I will end up using that same one. Um, as you hear and feel the ground shake with every bound that this thing takes, and it starts bounding forward, uh, the trees are getting knocked to the side as it pushes through them. A gigantic four-armed one, uh, roughly about three times the size, uh, that bounds in and lands. Mama has arrived. Here. And it screeches outward in a reverberation that you can almost see in the air. Um, oh, that's good. And you see each of them in, in, in turn, including the monkeys, respond with a call, and they seem innervated. Um, as they all seem to be recovering. We found the monkey bar. I'm glad I killed that one before that yeah. came in. That was on C. That was on C. 
The other gorilla on over there has to make a constitution, was it? Yep. A uh, new. I keep rolling nice damage today. Look at that. Oh, um, yes. Uh, that is 18 radiant. Okay. You notice that the power seems to float over it a little bit more than through it now. Almost as though it has somehow gained resistance. Um, and then you're still within reach. Yep. Hmm. Don't want to be, but... So it reaches out for you. Does a... Uh, actually, sorry, it is a contested roll. Mm -hmm. Acrobatics or athletics. Um, give me a second. Actually, no, never mind. You have freedom yeah. of movement. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm checking. So it reaches out for you, and you're able to kind of slip and slide around it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Ang angrily, it... Hmm. Because that's action. That's an attack. Uh, that's it has an attack. four arms. Yeah, oh, yeah, it has four arms. Um, mm. Isn't the grapple action the full... I know. Because it has four arms, there's no reason why we need to use all four arms to grapple necessarily. Sure. Would it use two at least? Because usually multi-attack specifies what attack it is. Yeah, but for some reason they left grapple off of its attack, which makes no sense to me. So my gorilla has a grapple attack. Because okay. why would the gorilla not have a grapple attack? It happened to be the worst person to grapple again, which is also kind of hilarious. Um, but it will try to uh, to pummel you. There are many two. Mm, no. Uh, I don't think a 14 hits. 16. And 18 does hit, however. Or, ooh, uh, ten slashing damage as one of the claws catches you. Uh, the first claw kind of smashing against the shield puts it slightly out of the right space for the other claw to kind of uppercut and cut you. Uh, let's see. That's still a ten. Yeah. I, I need to roll a one to fail my... Um, or take a whole bunch of damage at once. Yeah. Or, no. No, I actually dropped that. I was looking at the wrong stat. Oh. I was looking at the wrong stat. So finally the moon moon goes away? Yep. Okay. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's see. Oh, it's done. What am I thinking? And the other one's dead. So like that. <laughs> Zacchaeus. I'm getting out of that area. It's probably and, a good idea yeah. not to be between three things that can do a psychic crush. And firebolt on the gorilla. Okay. Five plus ten. Does fifteen hit it? Fifteen does hit. Mm -hmm. yeah. So eight plus five, so thirteen. Okay. Uh, fire. Okay. Well, yeah, firebolt. Uh, the fire seems to fly across its skin. It does seem to burn it a bit, but not a lot. Yeah. Um, you also notice that your fire has an interesting extra set of swirling uh, moats around it. What do they do? <laughs> in this case, nothing. Whew. Okay. Um, I got really lucky on a few rolls, and then never, never again, it seems. Uh, let's see. That is you and your movement, so back around to the top. Um, okay. Shank, you're up. All right. Uh, I'm going to dash. Just give me five. So one, two... Five. Okay. That's all I can do. <laughs> okay, you're in the right spot. Uh, Paul is also in the right spot. Reckless attack. So 16 plus 6 with the greatsword, I'm assuming, hits it. Oh, yeah. So it's 2d6 plus 6. Or? Uh, Whatever it says on there. Plus, yeah, plus 6 because you're raging. So a 12 damage total. Okay. The sword seems to slice into the skin but find some resistance. Uh, but it does seem to penetrate and go in a little bit. Uh, Elzara. Okay. I am going to take a swing at this thing with a scimitar. Um, that is a 15. 15 is a hit. That is 
it's cocked. But it's not much better. Uh, that is five slashing damage. Oof, okay. Um, and because I've attacked it, I'm going to run this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's one, two, three, forty-five. You hide something. behind something so the other one doesn't see you. There. Okay. Uh, oh, my monkey's good. And now that I'm out of, out of other people's way, I'm going to try casting another first level healing word on myself. Okay. <laughs> Basically. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the, you kind of whisper the word, thinking maybe you said it too loudly and the world heard you. Uh, but again, you see that forming in front of you of the word kind of taking physical form and then sort of vanishes away in the moat. <laughs> um, I have six. <laughs> let's see. Okay, monkeys. Hey, hey, they're the monkeys. But they're kind of monkeying around. As this one loops over here. This one loops here. This one moves there. And that one will run down to there. It's going to quickly up the whole height. Actually, no, it'll leap there. It'll be like trees. Uh, let's see. You're not actually hiding. Nope. So, make a wisdom saving throw. Doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. 21. Okay. Uh, uh, and Amrun, make one wisdom saving throw. 17. Okay. No problem there. So, let's see. Oh, emboldened by the effect. This one will psychically, Amrun is very well endowed. Leap down mm -hmm. on Amrun and try to bite and scratch. You see, as it gets closer, that it's, it looks wide-eyed and practically insane. Uh, it's a monkey. A nineteen to hit? Nope. Okay. What if all the lost travelers all became those monkeys? Mm. And uh, an eleven to hit? So nope, misses in both cases. Uh, uh, let's see. Yep, that one will also run down. So it leaps down to the tree, runs over. Let's try again. I don't think I can actually hit most of you anyway. Uh, 18 doesn't hit. No. Nope. Uh, 23 does hit. Though. Yep. Okay. I am vulnerable to piercing, if that's what it is. Uh, happens to be the bite, so okay. it mm -hmm. lashes forward for uh, doubled. It is six points of piercing damage. How long does that last for? So it doubled is six? It is six, or, yes. Okay. One minute. Ten rounds. Ten uh, let's see. That's those guys. That one's not doing anything. That one's not doing anything. We've still got like at least five or six Clark. guys left. Yeah. You have your arrows ready. Yeah, and I'm uh, from a position of a possible sneak attack on some of those monkeys, I'm sure. Uh, yes, from the one that's closest to you, the one that's purple on the tree. Or which ones are you aiming at? I was aiming originally at the three that were over okay. there. Because those are the ones I was hiding from. Um, you noticed that when the two of them leapt down off of the trees, they did mm -hmm. seem to clock where you were. Mm -hmm. The furthest one did not seem to notice you. Uh, let's, let's go for that one, then. Okay. So I'll try to strike with advantage from, yep. from Sneak. Mm -hmm. um, that was actually beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right away! Uh, the dice are trying to tell us something. Is it 21? That is most definitely a hit. Cool. Uh, then, let's see. Longbow does. Bleh! <laughs> <laughs> games. Pardon me. Longbow does five damage. Okay. Sneak attack. Do you see it? Uh, those are poisoned arrows, are they not? Yeah, I'm getting to that. <laughs> the sneak attack bonus is another seven. So okay. it's 12. Okay. And then the poison uh, is not a d6. Excuse me. Uh, poison is another four. So Same 12, thing. 12, 4, 16. 16? Okay. You notice it uh, 
it uh, the arrow seems to be heading straight forward, mm -hmm. and then it seems to almost glance a bit as it hits. It does hurt it, and there's okay. a streak left behind, but it seems to be uh, re somehow resistant. Second attack, then. Which one was this? Was it this Same one? target? Yep, yeah. yep. Uh, I'll take the 25. That's it? Cool. Uh, it's no longer at advantage, because it knows you're there. Oh, well, you only get one sneak uh, attack. Oh, that's right. One first. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, um, let me re-roll that, then. With yeah. my dice. Natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Sure. Cool. Second at resistance. Uh, yeah. So that's 2d8. And 6, 7, 8 on the damage itself. Uh, are you already doubling the dice? He yeah. doubled the dice, uh, yeah. Doubled the dice okay. So resistance would have that. Yeah. And one more point of uh, poison damage. So a total of, was it 9? Uh, 5, 1, and 2 is 8, and 1 is 9. Okay. Alright. Well, that seems to perturb it somewhat. Oh, good. As you kind of take a little bit extra time, and you aim pretty much straight for the uh, the face, mm -hmm. and it hits it on the cheek and kind of embeds itself in, okay. and it rips the uh, the thing out, leaving a bit of a gash behind. You can see there's a bit of, a bit of bubbling where the poison probably took effect. I'll, uh, Clark will smile, and then as a bonus action, try to hide again. <laughs> okay. Uh, probably not with a six. Okay. Uh, you're having a hard time kind of hiding because there are just things in all directions from you? Uh, specifically from that one. But okay. Yeah. Uh, let's see, that's Clark. Iro. Uh, stab, stab. <laughs> stab, stab. It's a 25. That's a hit. And a 21. It's also a hit. Probably so. redundant. First one does four slashing as it goes down. Woo! Then she stabs it for another five. All right. It's, you, it, it sort of starts to fall over, but she's already carrying through with the whipping motion and ends up cutting it right, right across the uh, back again, kind of making a nice crisscross pattern. You're welcome. <laughs> no. Is that how centaurs sign their names? Let me show you. 10, 20, 30. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm ruined. You're up. Huh. Well. Hmm. This one. If you, uh, do you have another cube there? So I can put this on because it's... It's supposed mm -hmm. to be up there too. I don't have any more cubes, but I have. Probably oh. take one of those. Yeah, yeah, that, that'll do. Oops. Swings over to that one, attempts to stab it. Okay. 21. That's a hit. Uh, I'll save any additional damage or just hit it for six. Sorry, nine. Nine points? Yep. Okay. Uh, again, uh, it seems damage. to uh, to push through, but not as much as you might expect. Uh, the rest of your action? Uh, hmm. Yeah, these guys are a little close. I'm just going to try and fend them off while I blast this one with a ray of frost. Okay. 21. That is a hit. Five damage and minus... Uh, five cold damage and minus ten movement. Okay. Uh, the cold seems to spread over its body and it just sort of shivers and shakes. You can see the, the ripped out part of its cheek where it already had torn it out because of the arrow. Yep. Uh, that's that's all you. Okay. It has none of its kid left anymore. It's not happy does about that. Does the cold seem to affect it as it should, or does it seem lessened a little bit? Uh, I think they're universally resistant right now. Hmm, let's see. That seems to be the place to be. As it leaps up, crashing through the uh, the growth above, and comes landing there. 
Um, you'll need to both make dexterity saving throws. Uh, is he landing on this one then too? No, no. Sorry, it would be a little over to one side. Okay, I couldn't reach very well. Uh, as the ground ripples underneath you and Iro. Okay, so dex saves. Yes. Iro gets a fifteen. Okay. Amrun gets an eleven. Okay. Amrun is knocked over, knocked prone. Uh, and it then proceeds to beat on Iro. Oh no. <laughs> Badly. I'm not going to use that die anymore. Uh, although an 18 I think hits. Oh yeah. She has like no armor class. That one definitely misses. And I don't believe a 17 hits. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. She only has a 13. Um, keep forgetting what hers is like. Uh, she takes... Eight points of slashing damage as it bears down its claws at her. Uh, at one point, catching one of its claws on its own fur, which kind of bends in on its kind of yopes. Is that all from one attack, or is uh, that's that... from two attacks? That hit. Okay, because I can absorb one of uh, redirect one of them to me, so I need to know how much one of those. Oh, was. sorry, uh, four and four. Uh, yes, four and four actually. Okay, I'll redirect one to me. So she takes... As the claw goes raking on through her Actually, flesh. Actually, yeah. No, if she can take that. She has way more hit points than I do. So you're not redirecting it? No. Okay. I'll keep my reaction for the turn, just in case. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's its turn. Zakis, you're up. So now it's almost dead? It's been hit a couple of times. I don't think it's almost dead, but it's... Injured. Its flesh is torn and rendered, uh, rendered uh, quite badly. <laughs> Damn it. I can't make it. Depends on where you're going. Six. Yeah. Eh. Do something else this turn. Well, I could, maybe. I think you're still just out of range. Yeah. But, yeah. Just move somewhere and you can do the other thing later. Magic missile level five on the big one. Oh, okay. I'm pretty yeah. sure they're not resistant to that. So how many dice was that again? Th uh, I think they are. My thing was doing force damage too. Oh. Really? Yep. I already said it. You know, I apologize for anybody trying to watch at home. I didn't actually put the map screen up. <clears throat> so oh my it's just goodness. been pretty pretty abstract at this point. You can see that it's actually not that abstract. Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> First of sound. Still new at this. To be those, fair, those eight. you could do it with a puppet show later. <laughs> to the audio. Level five. Is it like? Do, do, do. Oh, uh, three plus one more would be seven of them, I think. Oh, I do this last week. It's actually good mods of fours. And you get another D four as well. Yep. So How much is that total? Twenty. Twenty-one. Plus. Seven, so twenty-eight force damage. Nice to the gorilla. Gor gorilla. Yeah, the gorilla. Wait, was that the giant one? Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. You Just notice that it's almost impossible to see where they hit because it kind of dives into the fur, but you do see it kind of impacting a bit on the the giant creature. Okay. I thought nothing was resistant to force. No. Uh, if, the, if you can get a universal resistance thing, then yes. Um, let's see. That was. Zekis, so back around the top. Okay, Shank, you're up. I will continue to attempt to get into combat <laughs> by dashing again. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And that's all I can do. All right, you're going to hold your attack in case anything happens to wander over to you? Sure, why not? Need some throwing axes. Yeah, Paul. so if. Paul is up. Paul is going to attack recklessly. I can, I can hit it from here, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. you're diagonal to it. Okay. 
19 plus 6 is a hit. That's definitely a hit. 5 plus... So 11 damage. Great weapon fighter? Huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, should. Uh, he, no, she has it, he doesn't. Oh, Ira has it. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. 11 damage? Yeah, he has the... Uh, no, I forget what he had. No, he's a he's a barbarian. He doesn't get that particular one. Okay, so that's... He gets a different one later on. Uh, it was 11 points? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, the sword seems to cut into one of the arms, but <coughs> the arm seems to resist, almost as though it's of natural armor. Uh, I've got to do math in my head. There we go. Uh, Elzera. I'm gonna move here. Okay. And cast a spell that I've never actually cast before. Ooh, exciting! Ooh, exciting moments. I'm going to cast Blight. Okay. Uh, to level four spell, and I need a Constitution saving throw from Mama there. Alrighty then. Uh, 19? Uh, she makes it. So she takes half of 8d8 necrotic damage. Ooh. Yeah, Blight's a pretty good spell. Ooh. Ooh. Those are nice. Those are nice, and I still have more. So that is 10. That's 28. Plus... Forty-three, so half that. <clears throat> so forty-three, she succeeded, so it's half that, which is twenty-one, uh, which is half that, which went to ten. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you see the blight take hold on her fur and kind of ripping apart parts of it, that some of it instantly regrows. Uh, and and I- you feel a little itchy. Specifically, your chin feels itchy. And you look down with uh, amazement as you see flowing out of your chin one feather, <laughs> another feather, another feather, a lot of feathers suddenly flow down as you find yourself with a beard of feathers. <laughs> Wild magic. <laughs> um, and she is going to... Where is she at? I'm gonna get back by some cover. Okay. Uh, let's see. That is Elzera. It is their turn. I, I don't like that. It feels kind of firmly in there. Uh, oh, look at that. Holy crap. I wish that was damage. But it's not. All right. Uh, let's see. The one atop the tree, despite the the strange glowing thing in front of it, uh, actually no, it leaps to the other tree. This one? Uh, no, the thimble tree nearest to Elzera. I don't know if that'll stand. There we go. Um, and then gibbers at you. Maybe it's laughing. You're not really sure, but you do have to make a wisdom saving throw in either case. Something's really going to be a problem for you. That's worse than any of the other ones, because that's two nines, but it's plus eight. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think that was going to make an eff- a difference on you. Uh, let's see. Uh, that one will leap there. Actually, it's kind of... The base. It's not quite far, uh, far enough for it to leap, or close enough for it to... Oh, no, I sh- no, no, it's not quite close enough. Uh, let's see. The, this one will gibber at Iro, forcing it her to oh. make a wisdom saving throw. Eleven. Eleven is just enough. Uh, was, uh, let's see. The other two are going to scratch and claw at, at you. Mm-hmm. They get advantage. On the ground. But I have a twenty armor glass, so. So you mean, I mean, it means I, well, I guess I don't need a natural 20, do I? No. Nope. Uh, but a 23 does hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. And I'm vulnerable to piercing. There's that slashing that they're doing. 
Uh, depends on which which weapon they're using. Uh, that's ten slashing damage. Okay. From the first hit. Sorry, um, right, eight. Uh, that is a twenty-one to hit. Okay. Yeah, it's not that hard. Finally. Ooh. Uh, for ten points of slashing damage. Uh, I don't believe a fifteen hits. Nope. So the bite does not hit. The second one uh, misses on the first claw. Misses on the second claw. Misses on the bite. So Yay. despite the fact that you're down, Eat my, my, my lousy rolls will make you survive another round. I am covered in armor. Um, the, let's see, okay. Wait, are that you one. Down? Nope. Three. Five, right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's within range. Okay. Uh, this one that ran over there actually is within range, so it'll force Iro to make another wisdom saving throw. Twelve. Oh, that's enough. Uh, which means the giant is only going to be able to do normal things to this this creature, even despite the the rippling of necrotic damage across the back. Oof. Nope. Um, first attempt uh, ends up uh, smacking one of the ones next to it, uh, doing. <laughs> Did it roll a one? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, smacking it across the back, which was not impressive to the one that's next to it. Uh, thankfully, did not do it again, but somewhat trying to be careful. Uh, does an 18 hit? Oh, yeah. Okay. I know I made the characters up, but I can't remember. Uh, that is uh, 15 points of slashing damage. Mark. Wow. Uh, and then 18 hits, so another 13 points of slashing damage. And does a 13 hit. Just barely. All right, here comes the bite. That's probably gonna take a right. Uh, that is, whew, that's a bad roll. Uh, 14 points of piercing damage. That's doubled, so she's out. Okay, Iro goes down. As the gigantic uh, actually gorilla, I will take that hit for her. Okay. Uh, as it gnashes on her back, she screams out in pain. But there's a blue glowing energy, uh, which uh, focuses on you. Twenty-eight reduced to fourteen. I'm down to ten. She is also at ten, I believe. Okay. What's this effect going to be? <laughs> you feel a strange effect ripple over your body. Um, how old is your character? Oh, God. 41. 41? Mm -hmm. uh, he hasn't felt this good since he was 34. Because he loses seven years of age. Woohoo! It's a weird table. I wanted to get one of the nastier ones, but I didn't it's find it. It's a miracle! <laughs> <laughs> it probably uh, does. Well, he's looked like 19 for the past 25 years, so. Zacchaeus. Yeah, he looks 18. Uh, Zacchaeus will go. We could use some help here. I'm trying, I'm trying. It's okay. I, I know what he wanted to do last time, and he could do it. <laughs> you can move through Shanks Square, too. Yeah, I don't want to be next to it, though. So if I'm here, I can hit them and not my party members, right? Depends on what you're doing. Lightning Bolt. Okay. Uh, what does Lightning Bolt say? It's a 10 foot wide. No, 5, five foot, foot wide. 5, five foot, foot wide, wide 120 long foot long. Uh, yep, yeah, I think you can hit them all. All Actually, three of them, anyway. You can't hit the fourth one. Yeah. There's no angle where you can hit the fourth one. Okay. No. Nope. An attempt was made. So level four. Cool. Dex saves. Mm -hmm. my and then we get to see what weirdness happens. Mm. It was 8d6, right? So 9d6 if it's level four. Yep. He casts lightning bolt. The wild magic casts lightning bolt. Mm. That would be awesome. <laughs> Uh, depend on where it cast lightning. We've already done that one. I don't want to do that again. Uh, 
Mm, that's not how birth works. <laughs> Alright. Wait. 28. Yeah, that's fine. 32 now, there's total. A, there's a dex save or something before that? Yeah, yes. so 32 total for lightning damage. Okay, we're going to wait for that moment. I need to know the... the okay, so that one has... Nope, the large one failed for dex save. Good. Yay. Uh, however, the one of the other ones succeeds. So how much damage is it? 31? 32. 32? Okay, so 32... Uh, that is... Mm. Those are already pretty badly wounded, uh, but it did save. Oof. Ooh, that one's looking really awful. Uh, yeah, no, and that's awful. And that one is... Yeah, he's doing all right. And I only moved four squares, so I will move back to... Or, yeah. All of you around uh, Zacchaeus notice that his eyes glow bright white. Cool. Um, and you look around and you see the world in a stranger way than ever before. You see ebbs and flows and the small sparkles you would see occasionally now fill every single square around you. You have a feeling that nothing could hide from you at this point. Is this Salazar vision? <laughs> <laughs> so so I won't have to explain it or remember it. Mm -hmm. uh, you have the ability to see the invisible if you have line of sight for the next minute. Most of the table is actually really good for people, but <laughs> it's sometimes weird. Uh, that was Zacchaeus. And uh, I'll grant you a roll. It wouldn't normally work this way, but it's because it's the invisible. But I'll grant mm -hmm. you a roll. Make a perception roll at disadvantage. Nine. Okay, you don't see it. Um, the concentration is not thick enough for you here. Uh, let's see, Shank, you're up. All right, finally getting up into <laughs> combat range. <laughs> <laughs> I really and wanted to just <laughs> jump away now. <laughs> I guess I can't actually. Uh, three attacks on. The All right. One. Fed your cousin peanuts at the zoo. Uh, thirteen to hit. Thirteen is a miss. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen is barely a hit. Six damage on that one. Okay. You swing one of your pikes and it catches in the back of the leg, embedding in the muscle, but then kind of pops out, almost as though the muscle pushed it out. Mm. And sixteen. Sixteen is a hit. Nine damage. All right. Similar to last time, uh, it uh, kind of went in a little bit and then popped back out again, as though these night tightly knitted uh, uh, muscles are almost like steel cable. Hmm. Uh, Paul. Recklessly attack. Large monkey. <laughs> Gorilla, thank you very much. Wait, uh, which one looks the most beat up? Uh, Iroh. Well, I mean, in our enemies. <laughs> uh, the one in the middle. The monkey in the middle. <laughs> Which you can't reach yet. Damn it. No. Okay, large monkey. Gorilla. <laughs> 17 plus 6. That is a hit. Nice. Is that plus 6 or plus 5? Plus 6. 16 damage. Nice. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, Paul's not moving, I'm assuming? No. Okay. Elzara. Oh. Um, I am going to, uh, go here. I can line a side on Buddy. Okay. <laughs> uh, and take out my, uh, my plus one longbow. Woo! This is the new dwarven longbow. The new dwarven longbow. It kind of just calm the place. Uh, and a plus one arrow, so. It's a plus two in total. It's a plus two, so that's ridiculous. Uh, Care to define ridiculous in rough numbers? Uh, in rough numbers, 
That is 28. That's pretty ridiculous. Nice. <laughs> um, just barely hits. Just barely. Um, I mean, it felt something. And that is eight damage. Okay. Piercing, magical. Uh, the uh, the arrow sticks in its back. And it doesn't seem to notice. Um, uh, and I'm gonna go back. Through here. All right, it's monkey down. Let's see who has not got that back. I hope you mean it's gorilla time. Uh, no, gorilla goes on C. It's monkey time. Because the monkeys have already attacked me. And I haven't had a chance to stand monkeys up. Monkeys are B. Roll as C. Yeah. And as Zara just went. Who's A? You don't know. You don't know. You, you don't know. Um, something got out of order here. What happened? No, you got knocked down by the thing. Yeah, and then it went around and the monkeys yeah, attacked me while I was down. All right. Did you get, Did your turn get skipped? Because Clark went, and Iro went. Uh, yeah, we had Iro go, and uh, I went. I don't, know I don't remember Clark going actually. Uh, yeah, Clark, Clark just Zira, fired a couple of arrows off. Yeah, Zira just fired an arrow now. She goes before Clark does. Right. right. Yeah. So Clark. But Clark went last time. Fired his arrows. Iro took her swing. Then I got knocked. Uh, well, I did a thing. You got then knocked, the monkeys knocked down. down. You must not have. We must not have taken a turn. You know. Stunned, are you? Nope. Okay. Well, I'll take your turn now, then. Uh, I'm going to stand up. Okay. The middle monkey looks pretty bad. Uh, I think first... Uh, remember the days when there. you showed them something weird? Tried to stab that one. That's a 25. Uh, that's a hit. And that's five force damage. Okay. Uh, well, me and Ivo were really beat to shit, so. Oh, he's actually hit that guy before, is that right? Uh, I th yeah, I've hit that one before when it was over here. It hopped over. I hit it. Oh, right, okay. Then it hopped over I'm there. Losing track of my hopping monkeys. That was uh, five points? Yeah. Okay. Five force. And. Well, I hate to use it up now, but I will do another uh, siphon life, and I'll go 3d6, 3d6, 3d6. <laughs> okay. It's a, it was a constitution, right? Yeah, con for half. Uh, the large one succeeds, the middle one succeeds, and the other one succeeds. Okay. So the large one loses 10 divided by 2 is 5. Middle one is seven divided by two is three. So that's eight. Uh, just a second. Okay. And Actually. the last one is eight divided by two is four. So I've got twelve health to split up. I'll give me and Iro each Actually I'll give yeah. yeah. Six each to me and Iro. Um is that worded as the amount of damage taken or the amount of damage removed? Uh, actually, I don't have it. I have it written in shorthand here. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if they if they're if, resistant if, to damage taken, you don't get those hit points. Originally, it was written as moving hit points across. It's not written as damage, mm -hmm. but it in effect is damage. It's just because that's the idea is preserving life that's still that's being shifted around. Yeah, it's taking life and moving it to others. Okay. So it would be half of all of that. Okay, so we each get three points. Um, because they are, at the moment, resistant. So next time you say that that's overpowered, I'm going to call it bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're adjusting it still. It would have um, been overpowered in the original version very easily. Because they just basically do the silo of, of damage. Uh, um, yeah, well, we'd have got 23 instead yeah. of 45. Also, these, these guys are specifically resistant now. Um, uh, that's it for my turn. Okay. Uh, Clark, we're going to go back and it's going to be Emerald's turn again here in sure. a moment, so it's going to get a little weird. Uh, Clark. Uh, hide action from the tree. I'm going to attempt to hide it from the gorilla. Okay. 
Is it in a good spot? You are in a good spot. Oh. Uh, eight. Not. It's a good spot, but it's a very thin tree. Right. Mm -hmm. And I will shoot said gorilla with two arrows. Okay, you do not have advantage. That's fine. Um, first arrow. Mm, Thirteen. Thirteen is a miss. Okay. Second shot. Uh, Sixteen. That's a hit. Uh, that's a hit. Cool. Unfortunately, the first one was a poison arrow, so we'll just do regular damage now. Uh, five. Five piercing. Okay. Is, are things still vulnerable to piercing? Yep. Uh, the well, things we, that were within we were that area. Vulnerable okay. to piercing. All of us. Yeah, Except you're the only things left, I think, of, of the ones that were yep. more vulnerable. Uh, Iro. Uh, huh. The middle one looks bad. Uh, yeah, actually... Oh, sorry. Sorry to finish. Sorry. Uh, move action. Uh, replace Bonus the, action? No, that was the hide. He hasn't moved anywhere, so move action. Oh, okay. He'll change weapons. He's going to go to Lucille. Pulling out Lucille, okay. Shit's about to get Sorry. real. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, Iro will. <laughs> Iro is feeling protective of Amarun and is going to try to stab the monkey in f between, like right in front of both. The middle monkey? Yep. The monkey in the middle. Upper lung. That's uh, a 14. 14 is a hit. Okay. Ooh, maximum damage, 13 slashing. <laughs> and, and even halved, that monkey goes down. Yay. Uh, so it's cut from head uh, head to toe by the massive swing of the glaive. And can she try to hit that one? Uh, she has reach. Yep, uh, Emerald's standing the way. there. Yeah, she's, told, she's over your head. I'll say okay. she can reach. Duck. Unless she gets a one. If she hits that's a one, a she probably would stab, stab Amarun, but that's unlikely. Mm. 14 is a hit. Okay. Another maximum damage. So <laughs> 13. Okay, that one's not quite as wounded. Um, all right. However, surprised to see the glaive come out of nowhere. <laughs> kind of. All right. Uh, Amarun's turn again. It's like it just happened. Okay. Well, let's see. Okay. I'm going to place this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, I'll hit everyone. I am going to place a Mass Cure Wounds. What level spell is that? Level five. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. This should be interesting. Okay. Well, six targets gain 3d8 plus 10 health. So first me, because I'm hurt. That's actually, everyone would gain, or everyone I target, up to six targets, would gain 24 health back. Is yes, Paul in that group? I think so. I can hit everyone. Okay. I just need to choose. Actually, how many of us? There are seven. You're not hurt yet? Okay. Everybody gains 24 health back. Everybody including me? Yes. Okay. So what nasty thing does that do to us? Okay. This Everyone is, heals this 24. Is, Fireball. This is kind of weird. Uh, this is kind of weird. I don't have a particular mini, so I'm just going to use this one for the moment. And I'll explain what I mean in a moment. So, um, you... you uh, Pray to the Poluxia and pull forth this energy which flows out of you in the multiple tendrils. Yes, and the ground shakes. I keep trying to mention this. Every time you cast something, the ground shakes a little bit or the water makes waves. The. Uh, also, his irises glow slightly. So, how many targets were there? Uh, six. Okay. Here's the. Here's where I get to be mean. Because you did target already some, pink, some things. So. Check on that to see how high that is. Because that is a fifth level version oh God. of that spell. <laughs> Thunder wave, we all fly all over the place. So there's three to start with. And three more. How many targets? Six total. Well, it divides evenly then. 
as along with that the energy itself seems to coalesce into a small dart of white as along with that magic missiles go to each of those same targets <laughs> That's fine. We heal 24 and then we take a D4. Uh, I'm good with that. Two points, two points of uh, force damage to each of you. Okay, that's not too bad. That then coalesces, because it's another magic spell okay. being cast. Uh, and beside you, inexplicably, appears a strange figure that looks like a cube with a face. It has strange little wings and a little bitty <gasps> bow. It is a Motron. Appears from nowhere. I remember you guys! <laughs> It lands up. It's the only mini I have at the moment. But yes, hey imagine a, squ a strange square being Former suddenly boss? appears, looks around confusedly. You want something smaller? Because uh, I have. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to put a cube there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. There's a tiny little Modron appears behind you. And it's just the one. It's like, oh. Hey, boss. Former boss. How's it going? Uh, it doesn't recognize you. I say um, it anyways. Um. Yes, wild magic. It's so Do much I fun. Do you know if those are dangerous? Um, Sounds like we'll find out soon. Yeah. Yeah. At least I'm one of the people who are farther away. <laughs> Emmer liked them. Yeah. Think <laughs> the Egdens not so much. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that was Amrun's turn. Uh, now it is uh, the gorilla. Oh. No, because I. I didn't do my bonus action that turn. I did it in the round before, so I'm going to stab that again. Okay. Stabity stab stab. Oh, probably not. That's an 11. 11 is a miss. Okay. All right. Hmm. Since Paul has been poking at him. Wait, oh, no. did Paul hit him most recently or Iroh? Iro killed the. Oh, Iro killed the other thing. Probably, yeah. yeah. He was so the last Paul one. was the one that uh, that he went after. Yeah. Or then went after him. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Shank then Paul. Uh, so Paul for a twenty to hit. Yep. Not a natural twenty, but what can you do? Um, for fourteen points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. Have to say, right. natural twenty. Wait. For uh, 16 points of slashing damage. So that's not half, is it? Or is that already half? That's not already half. Okay. So, 8 points. Uh, 22 to hit. Yep. For another 11 points of slashing, or sorry. Yeah, 11 points of slashing damage. 5. Uh, 24. Uh, be five more damage. Five to hit. So yep. For another eleven points of slashing damage. So another five. And then leans in for the bite. Oh, if only that had been a natural twenty. That's a twenty-two. Okay. And this is no. not half or double. This is yeah, twelve points straight up. So <laughs> see, he's at three. Took him from almost max health down and to three. Uh, yep, because he attacks someone other than you. Nice. Uh, so. 25 to hit? That's definitely a hit. Hey! 11 damage. 11 damage, okay. Uh, oops. Alright, as the. It kind of catches him in the back ankle and just kind of nicks him in the ankle. Uh, let's see, that's that guy. Zakis, you're up. How bad does the one next to Elzara look? Uh, make a medicine check. Is that going to take my action? Nope. Okay. It's just a glance over. Nine-ish, I think. It's hard to tell. There's already blood on the tree. Okay. I remember that one being kind of injured, though, and looking pretty terrible. Let's move away before you cast magic. Yes. <laughs> Firebolt. Okay. I know it's resistant, but whatever. Hey. 16 plus 10. Ah, that's enough to hit, definitely. Five damage. All right. Uh, again, kind of. I think that was the one that got hit by your arrow too, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah. Its mm -hmm. cheek is all torn up and bloody, and the, the fireball kind of slashes across and my it. Frost bolt. Yeah, it's still it's still hanging on and looks crazy. Uh, back around the top. 
Can okay. I move away two more paces? Do you have that much movement left? Yeah, I only move four. Okay. You know Shank, you're I up. Alright. Three attacks on the gorilla. Okay. Uh, so that is... 15 to hit? 15 is just enough. So, seven damage. Okay. 18 to hit. That's enough. 10 damage. Okay. Yes. And 24 to hit. <laughs> yep. Finish it. 9 damage. Okay. Well, that's definitely got his attention. Um, as you kind of swing out, and, and as it's swinging wildly at, at uh, Paul, you're kind of catching out of the back of the arm, and the, and the, the, the pole or the, the, uh, the spike is kind of dragging up its arm, and it kind of reaches back, and it's, it's getting bloodied now. You reach up and into its thigh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, that was Shank. Paul's up. He'll attack again. Actually, no, what's... Mm. Frenzied Rage, should I bother? Or? Mm. Full attack is a bonus. I have no idea what that means. I think it means he, he would get two attacks while he's frenzied, but he'd gain a level of exhaustion uh, uh, when it's over. once it's done. Yeah. yeah. I'll just attack him, but not recklessly. Okay. That's a miss. 11. 11 is a miss. Yeah. yeah, he's still kind of uh, probably bloodied and a little bit uh, wounded now, or very badly wounded, and starting to struggle a little bit through it. Uh, Elzera. I am going to... No. Uh, I'll throw a regular arrow. Okay. Might want to use a bow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody got that one. I think it was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go here. No. You did throw it, didn't you? I did. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're like, but I bought a bow for this. <laughs> I literally just forget to put it in the bow and just, I'm just like, that's not a dagger. Mm-hmm. Roll the ten. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see, monkey's turn. Oh, and I'm going to go back behind the tree. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Uh, that's that guy. Alright. <laughs> the. Oh, actually. Alright, that makes sense. I'll go at the same time then. Uh, the one uh, uh, over beside, um, no, actually, the one over here, you can reach, I think, 10, 20, 30, not quite. Okay, so the one by, oh, wait, how close is that guy? Oh, he can get closer, because he's, he's a freaking monkey. Do, 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 climbs up that tree, falls over. Yeah. Two tree, six damage. tree dies. R.I.P. Tree. Um, kind of scr- uh, uh, scrambles up, and then screeches out, looking directly at you. Make a wisdom saving throw. 18. 18 is enough. You feel it wash over you. Um, then the one beside Amrun will do the same, actually. <laughs> because you attacked uh, the big guy. So attacking... No, uh, on oh, to uh, Shank. Nine. Nine. Ouch. Miss. The first time I've been attacked. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is 19 <laughs> psychic damage, and you are stunned. Okay. Uh. And then the third one will do the same to Amrun. The one up in the tree over here, the one that's been attacked continuously. 21. No problem. Uh, let's see, do I have any more? Oh, I have one more. Uh, let's see. Yeah. How does Shank look? Leaping over from here. Oops. Heavily wounded or just perturbed? Oh, I don't think barely scratched. This is the first time I've been hit. So yeah. Barely perturbed? Okay. Good to know. Uh, we'll do the same to Paul. Paul makes the wisdom saving throw. Four. Four. 
Oof. This does not get halved. No. Uh, that is 24 points of psychic damage. Yeah, he's like below zero. <laughs> and he's stunned. He's unconscious and stunned. Yeah, he's he was not like dead, but... Yeah, that was the that was the highest I've rolled in one of those. It's wow. nice seeing three sixes. Um, okay. And then I think that's all of them. So Monkey's it is now Clark's done. turn. All right, uh, I'm gonna try something stupid. You see Paul gonna go stiff and then fall over unconscious. Uh, Clark is gonna start climbing. Okay. Uh, he's gonna try to climb to the top of the tree where the the, the level where monkeys hang out. Okay, what's your movement speed? Uh, currently 30. Okay, so you can make it 15 feet up. Not and quite up to the level of the canopy. We could dash for the rest. Uh, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's right, you're assassin. They don't get the uh, second story work, right? No. The ability of second story work means you can move, you can climb at no. full speed. No. So, Yep, so you dash and climb okay. up, get yourself into the tree. Yep. Uh, and prepare something spectacular for next turn, perhaps. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you still have your action. Because yeah. that was your move and your bonus. But you're up a tree now, so what do you do? <laughs> That's not up to me. <laughs> okay, Clark. Fire. Do what Le Legolas would do. Just fire an arrow at something. Oh, we're waiting for that. Don't worry. <laughs> Iro's up. Uh, Just saw Paul go down. Yeah. Paul go down and Clark go up. <laughs> oh, uh, no, never mind. Sorry. All right, then. I'm proceeding to never mind. Well, if there's an action left. You have an action. You spend one action to move, spend another action to move. No, you use your move to go up, okay. and then you spend your bonus to dash. Gotcha. So you have your action. Okay. So you can still... Like, so you still have your action, whatever that will be. Yes. But if I could reserve the bonus action, I would hide. But you can oh, use your... Oh, actually, yeah, you can use your action to dash and use your bonus twice. to hide. Yep. Bonus to hide. Yep, go ahead and make a, uh, a stealth check. That might make things easier for next time. Um, and actually, you get advantage on the stealth check, because you're in a tree. Oh, I love the tree. This is how they hid from you the first time. Ah, uh, so, uh, 14. 14, That's okay. That's a little bit unusual. That is definitely better. I'm done, thank you. Okay. Uh, so I row. No, still can't do it. Okay. Um, she will stab the gorilla guy. That's a 21. Yep. And a 9. So the 21 does 10 slashing. All right. Next in. You can see the gorilla is now looking pretty rough. Uh, the numerous slashes across the small divots that that uh, Shank has been putting in this thing is, is starting to bleed profusely. Uh, I'm ruining you up. Okay. Uh, well, first of all, Meaner, 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 meaner. Stab. Can't seem Natural to get away from 20. That thing. Can't seem to get away from that thing. Well. Yeah, I'll try to take it the heck out. Please. Uh, yeah, I'll hit it with uh, the rude wall things. Water. It'll have to make a strength save or fall down. Okay. Uh, that is a 15. Doesn't beat a 16. All right. And one more D8. Taking the monkeys out of the trees. That's 12, 15 force damage. Okay. Uh, and then it falls out of the tree. We'll try to roll with it. It ah! manages to roll with it, so it's half damage falling out of the tree. Eh. Uh, and then resistance, so it actually lands pretty pretty comfortable mm -hmm. with a bit more grace than you. Well, I guess it's a monkey you kind of expected. It. It's not prone. Uh, okay. Well, I am going to ray of frost that guy then. Okay. We'll get him eventually. Mm, 18. Uh, 18 is a hit. 11 cold damage okay. and minus 10 movement. He's not I'm moving all that far anyway, but he's... I'm keeping he's, him uh, from jumping from tree to tree. It's definitely true. All right, that was Amrun, the yep. gorilla's take. Did the... Uh, Mad, uh, Modron do anything? Uh, the Modron's actually going on the gorilla's turn. I rolled, and it was basically most close it was going to do. Okay. Um, hmm... What is it doing? <laughs> 
Seeing what's going on, it's moving the hell away from all of this. No, it's not. Hmm? It has a movement of zero. Uh, the Grillon. Yeah. Does. Oh, no, no, the, the Modron. Yeah, no. the Modron. Uh, no, the, the Grillon uh, looks down at the suddenly still dwarf and reaches down. Uh, does a 22 B yes. AC and picks up the dwarf. Oh, no. And then proceeds to throw the dwarf. <laughs> that sounds like a weird dwarf. carnival game. Uh, so I gotta pick a direction because it did not succeed at that, so... Okay. You get tossed uh, that direction and land. Uh, uncomfortably. Uncomfortably. Ooh, taking seven points of bludgeoning mm. damage. Okay. Then you are prone. My back hurts for you. Uh, does the Modron get hit by the monkey as the Modron runs away? Uh, no, it's not paying attention to it. Okay. It's yeah. barely visible to it. <laughs> Is it off the map? Hmm? Is it off the map? Not quite. Actually, it's not that far, because it can't move that quickly. It's difficult terrain. <laughs> it really only makes it two squares. Well, it probably dashes, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, okay, four so, squares. so it did almost make it there. Yeah, two, three, four. Uh, land on my back, and then there's a tiny cube that runs <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't have a bonus action. Zacchus, you're up. Firebolt on... Well, which one looks the most beat up between these two? <laughs> From this distance? It's hard yeah. to say. We, we've we all been kind of gang Firebolt. firing at that one. So. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff gone into that tree. Whether it's really hurt it that much, I'm not sure. Four yeah. plus yeah. ten, so fourteen. Does that hit it? Uh, fourteen does hit, yes. Okay. Barely. Six damage. Okay. You guys are whittling away at this poor little guy. Alright. Uh, back around the top. Okay. Shank, you get a chance to roll, roll the resistance. Alright. And this is wisdom? Yes. Wake up! In the science fiction universe, that little flashing rerouting, rerouting, rerouting is coming on your, sc on your screen. Uh, 14. 14 is enough. Alright. So you are conscious you do not get a chance to act this turn. You are still off. Oh. You are still on the ground. Uh, Paul is up. Paul makes a death save. I'll make Paul's death save. It's straight on ten, right? Eleven. One. One success. Elzera. Okay. Um. You heard a tree fall and then realized it was Paul. Yep. Um. I'm going to cast Bone Whip. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back to my casting spot. Cast the up and try to hit the the monkey. The one right in front of you? No, not the monkey, the uh, gorilla. The gorilla? Okay. Yeah. The big one. Hmm, okay. Is it a save or, or it, a... It's attack? a hit. It's okay. an attack. Um, so that is a 24. Yeah, that's a hit. Uh, and it takes 2d6 and is pulled 10 feet towards me. What size is it? Large or smaller? Yep, it's large. Okay. And takes 6... Piercing damage, okay. magical. Now here's the question. And it's if it's being pulled... Feet. It is not voluntary movement, so ah. it does not mm -hmm. provoke opportunity attacks. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> and then I'm going to go back behind my tree. Uh, uh, here. Cow, which is... Oh, wait. Uh, Hang on. <coughs> what level is Thorn Whip again? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a cantrip. Okay. Okay. Uh... Oh one? yeah, shit, he, he did fireball. I keep forgetting this. I'm not used to this. Oh, lucky. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to cast a level one healing word on Paul. Which is a bonus action. Yep. Uh, so. He goes four. <laughs> I saw the one come up. It's like, brr. <laughs> um, and... By the way, you just saw the gorilla and drag right by you. Yeah. Yeah. It's not normal. No. Um, that's Elzera's turn. Uh, and roll for whatever the fuck happens. I the did. healing I word. Did. Oh, the healing word. That's right. That's another one. That's a level one. Uh, oh. Damn it. Paul is up again. I should have made it just happen every round, but I made it a roll. Uh, and Paul is standing. Cool. Oh. Actually, well, he can't. Stand. Paul's alive. Alive. Yeah, he's got four hit points. Uh, let's see. And the Goverline got pulled away. Got pulled away. Okay. 
So if he wants to... So Paul stands up. Stand up. It's not his turn yet. Oh. It was Elzera's turn just now. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, he started talking about Paul. I get confused. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if they regain that. Uh, no. Okay. It's only one has. Uh, hmm. Okay. The uh, monkey nearest to you mm -hmm. stares intently and looks deeply into your eyes. Make a wisdom saving throw. Being hidden in 14? Uh, yeah, it was, was the one that rolled to see you and did actually see you. He's a jerk. Yeah, so make a wisdom saving throw. Alright. Wisdom. Um, ow. Uh, 20. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Uh, let's see, that one does not have it. The monkey will notice that Clark is looking back. Yeah, yeah. And it has the uglier face, That's but you fine. have the meaner look. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. uh, this one leaps down to uh, to swap at Pyro. Use that die, because it always fails. The map change would be my last turn and this one. Mm -hmm. uh, 25 to hit. Yep. That doubles our armor class almost. Okay. Uh, six points of slashing damage. Okay. I just changed orientation because that's all happened. Uh, whoops. I'm to check the right one here. It does not have that many attacks. Okay. Uh, 14 to hit. Yep. Okay, and this is the bite. Okay. For four piercing damage, which becomes eight. Okay. Uh, the one... Let's see. The one beside you shifts around that way and attacks Iro. Iro is visibly wounded, yes? Oh yeah, she's down to 21 hit points. Uh, but that misses, because I rolled that die again. Uh, but a 14? Yep. Okay. And again, that's the bite for 6 piercing, so a double to 12. Okay, yeah. and the last one. Hmm. Uh, he's emboldened. <laughs> he's going to come out of the tree at some point. <laughs> and you see him kind of uh, climb down the tree and can actually he, leap down the tree and then run over. Can he go that uh, far? Is it minus 10? Uh, not this round. That was a couple of rounds ago. No, that was the last thing I did was blasted him with a ray of frost. Uh, was that? I thought you had uh, healed somebody. No, or, I healed. Oh, you healed him. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, they can't, actually can't go that far, so he stays up in the tree. And he will, he will attempt to hide. Okay. Well, it was an attempt. I'll give him that. Uh, that's all of them. Clark. Okay. I have a question about the floating spear. Mm -hmm. Does it have any physical quality to it at all? No, really. No. Okay. In that case, uh, Clark's first movement is to drop down onto the gorilla with Lucille. Okay. And the intent is to put it right in between the shoulder blades right here, and then to move on. That's the idea. Okay. Um, it notices you. That's right. So I, you, you don't have a sneak attack. I can't sneak with a great two sword. Great sword. Yeah, mm -hmm. but you would have advantage if you did if you weren't if you were still hidden, but you are not. Okay. Roll a twenty so you can move on in slow motion. I crit. Hmm? Hmm? I crit. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so when I crit, Lucille. Lucille is 2d6 plus a third because Savage Attacks I forgot last time. Mm -hmm. um, Do you need more d6s? Uh, don't no. double the dice. I haven't yet. Okay. This is just the base. Yep. Um, Actually, no, go ahead and double the whole thing because it hurt. It's all. Uh, two of them get doubled. Yeah, no, the, um, the, the dice get doubled on a crit. Yes. The bonus is not, but I have everything. Because it has mm -hmm. resistance. So. I'm going to roll this one. There we go. That's a lot better. So 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So 26. So 26 plus, plus. Strength is three more. So 29. 29. Okay. okay. Um, Anything else to add on that before I do any math? I can. Uh, I'll get a bonus action as well. Um, also make an acrobatics roll because you're falling out of a tree. Sure. Uh, 19 plus. Okay. You land without uh, hurting yourself too much. Cool. I, I just plan to land on the ground. 
Okay, so that was yeah. 29 damage. Okay. 29 damage. You do take three points of bludgeoning damage as you come down. 29? Is that the total damage before I do any math? I assume so. Okay. Alright. Uh, why did he take bludgeoning damage? He fell out, he jumped out of the oh. tree. And yeah, he, he, he didn't, he didn't make the acrobatics roll. Well, it was 19. He had a 19. 19. No, I'm sorry, plus it's half. Bonus. Oh, actually, no, sorry, you don't take that three points. Okay. Uh, yeah, because yeah, he got 25. Yeah. <laughs> I figured 19. Uh, okay, if it was straight falling damage, you still take half damage from that, yeah. but it's a, it's an acrobatics check to see if you can land without taking damage. Okay. Superhero landing. Yeah. Uh, kind of the same thing the monkeys do, except they don't have to basically roll for it. That's the first strike. Okay. Um, Get a second strike for the the, uh, the the blade does kind of go deeply into the shoulder. Okay. Well, so what's we'll your second strike? Second strike is to maybe pull it out violently. Let's okay. Say. All right. Unsheathe <laughs> the sword violently. Yeah. Sure. Uh, fourteen to hit. Fourteen is a miss. Oh. Okay, that's fine. As when you're pulling out, it shrugs to move away from the blade, and it's almost a perfect <laughs> unsheathing rather than an actual strike. Okie dokie. Um. Then. Uh, dash action. Okay. To go from the girl on to the monkey on the ground, I'm, I'm stepping down, basically. So that's just well, you've jumped down already. Yeah. yeah. And you kind of use the, use the girl on to, to slowly yes, <laughs> reduce your, your from heat. From the girl on down to the other monkey. Okay. Uh, that's just a move, actually, at that point. Slide. Yeah. So it costs you nothing. Yep. Okay, cool. Um, I'll, I'll still land and strike the small monkey if I can. Okay. Do you have a third attack? I do. Okay. Uh, one for the crit. The natural one. Two to get ready, and then, and then the second three to attack comes last. Oh, right, right. You have that thing that you get a second attack on a crit. Is that it? A third attack on a crit. Mm-hmm. Or, well, two you, get a bonus, and a bonus. you get a second attack on uh, Is it a bonus action to do that second uh, attack? It though? is. Probably. A bonus action, yeah. So I yeah. can't, like, hide or, or, right. or dash or anything. Um, 15, uh, 24. To hit? Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, die, monkey, die. Yes. Please, monkey, die. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine damage. All right, okay. Whew. Still standing. That's fine. But it's looking very rough. You've opened up a huge gash in its back now, uh, in which you can actually almost make out the, the uh, bones inside. You heard a couple of bones cracking as you went through, That's leaning on your uh, sword. Can I wind up on the other side of the monkey? Um, uh, they're taking an attack of opportunity from the That would be one option, is you could move. So yeah, you want to. You've you got movement move. left. Yeah. The gorilla might win, uh, like, hit you. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Okay. The gorilla is going to take a swipe at you. That's okay. Uh, 23 to hit. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's got an angry monkey stare for uh, 10 points of slashing damage with one of the claws. Uh, uh, Iroh. Well, Iroh's gonna stab that one. Alright. She'll keep doing what she's doing. Clark, why did you go there? 25. 25 is definitely hit. (laughs) The grill on was moved, perhaps, by someone. 13 slashing damage. Okay. The glaive, she stabs it on through. It cuts all the way through to the other side. She pulls it out. The monkey tilts and weaves, but still somehow standing on his feet. Okay. Then she gets a 15 to... Or sorry, a 13 to stab it again. That's a hit. It's barely a hit, but it's a hit. That's thir- uh, 11 slashing. And with that, she kind of jabs into the hole again and just pulls downward... Jabs it in. Cutting several bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Not quite. She's not that strong. But it does kill it. She got a 17. <laughs> yeah. That's dead. And that would be her turn. Okay. I'm ready. Well, first of all, this uses its 20 feet of movement to drop down to ground level. And... Hmm, Can I ask what the magnet is? Hmm? Your uh, spear. Or no, oh, uh, Paul's spear. Paul's, Paul's spear. spear. Paul's spear. Yeah, thank you. I <laughs> will s- <laughs> dab Sorry. the small one. That I'd ask. Twelve. Twelve was a miss. Yep. Uh, wait, actually, twelve might be hit. No, twelve was a hit. Hey! They aren't that strong. 
It takes eight force damage. Okay. And I'm pretty sure next uh, round that's, oh, that's from the end of my spear. Okay. Uh, I will. Hmm. I will ray of frost the giant monkey. Try not to move the table. I notice it's shifting a little bit there. Ooh, right. that's an eleven. Uh, an eleven? Yep. Uh, that is a miss. Mm. Ooh. But. Ooh, I haven't done that one before. Oh no. Do. I'm far enough away, but still, oh no. <laughs> if that needs targeting, it targets. You are the frightened of the monkey <laughs> beside you for the next minute. Okay, uh, this gives bonus against fright to anyone within 30 feet. Yep, but it's not a save. It's a okay. fact. Okay. To be um, fair, they're kind of frightened to begin with. <laughs> Yeah, there's usually a save involved in effects, but... Wild magic table. You are mm. frightened. Okay. Uh, let's see. Gorillon. What is he going to do to survive this? Hmm. Hmm. The Gorillon is going to circle around to uh, Clark. Cool. And... Begin bleeding and and uh, and snarling, foam starting to form up in its stomach. I'm not rolling that die again. I should <laughs> never roll that die. Uh, Fourteen. I don't think that hits you. Uh, that's even worse. Doesn't eighteen hit you? Uh, just. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, that is. Uh, 18 points of slashing damage. Oh, okay. They max out on damage on that one. And then the bite is only a mere 10, so it does not hit. There are 12, actually, but it still doesn't hit. Uh, let's see. And it will continue to circle around Clark. Actually, no, it's going to stay there. It, it, it hesitates for a moment, but then does not move. Zach, as you're up. Firebolt. <laughs> okay. Uh, disadvantage because he's hidden. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen is a hit still. Oh, do we get a perception roll to see him? Uh, actually, yeah, you can roll a perception. You might, he might not be hidden from you. He rolled pretty well though. So. No, never mind. No, yeah. no, it's still hidden. <laughs> so it's you still know he was there, but okay. you still hit him anyway. Actually, it doesn't really matter. You hit him anyway. Mm. It's kind of a moot point. Fourteen. Fire. 14. Finally, high numbers. Alright. Oh. Uh, he's holding on for dear life. Um, that's your turn. Oh, hey, this actually came up for that. Uh, Alright, spellcasting. Oops. Uh, oh, well, there's that too. Uh, I think that we're about to find out what A is. Nope. Oh. Alright. I have movement left. Okay. Are you going to move? Right. Do it now. Okay, never mind. Okay. Well, do I hear anything, or do I get... I guess Not I on your turn, have, you don't. No, but I still have, like, this see invisibility thing. Uh, you do, but from that distance you can't see it, because it's not uh, mm-hmm. that, that long. Uh, <laughs> Clark, does a 16 hit you? No. Okay. Make a perception check. Sure. Uh, perception... 20? Okay. You notice a rather thick vine trying to curl around your your legs, but you kind of just step out. The vine moved very quickly. Okay. Um, Shank. Alright, so I stand up. Yep. And that's five feet of movement. I'm going to use my action to Well, half your movement, actually, not five feet. To get to oh, here. Okay. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to attack. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get there again. Eventually, I hit things. Yeah. Hey. As something somewhere smiles. Uh oh. Is it a nat 20? My criticals are 19. Oh, there <laughs> you go. Nat 19? Yep. Nicely done. I want to see how this balances out. Uh, so that is 3, 6, 10 damage. 10 damage? Okay. Uh, it's still standing. 
It wasn't that great. Uh, nope. Uh, okay, Paul. Paul can now stand up. Have his movement. Yeah, and Paul will do the rest of his movement. Close in on that thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Paul's still pretty weary, but yeah. So he's not attacking recklessly, but he is attacking. He's no. He's no longer. Fr uh, he's not raging, raging either. Really? He was out yep. for a round. Yep. His rage is gone. Okay. Well, he's attacking normally. <laughs> okay. He's got a thirteen plus. That's six. a hit. So the non-rage damage is just yeah, it's just the regular damage. Yeah. No bonus. Nine. Okay. Close. Uh, yeah, really close. As you can see, it kind of uh, reeling with every hit that goes at it now. Um, it's one of its paws is hanging at a strange angle. Uh, its teeth is broken. It's got nasty slashes across his face. Uh, Elzara. I'm going to do something that might be stupid. Yay! Yeah, we've got to that point in the fight. Awesome. That's the way I wanted it. I currently have in my possession one shadow arrow. Oh, yeah. Okay. Which I pull out of my quiver. I believe I take dam whole damage when touching it. Uh, do you have the uh, description? I do not, okay. because I just grabbed it. Oh, oh, wow. It's the one that was in my dad. Oh, wow. Because I was still taking damage when I uh, yes. touched it. Yes, yes. So you do take damage from holding it. Take three points of cold damage. I will take it. Um, so that's... Hmm, I forgot about that. Well, um, now we're getting the good stuff. Obviously, I've done well in this fight. Pull out the good stuff. Yeah. This monkey is getting on my nerves. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going to shoot the, uh, the gar gar gorilla. Gorilla? Gorilla. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I would advise you not to miss. I would also advise you not to roll a one. Yo. Don't say it. Not 20. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. So. That was stressful. <laughs> uh, it is triple the normal arm, uh, arrow damage. Okay. Doubled. Is that including the crit? Uh, that's not including the crit. Okay. So that's three. So there's a chance. Four. Dice. Dice me. Which ones? Uh, D8s. Oh, there should go two. I got two. Okay, so it's triple that. There's one other bit first. Those are nice numbers. <laughs> okay, so that is a six and a six for twelve. Five. So it's seventeen plus seven twenty-four plus seven thirty-one plus four is thirty-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, how do you want to do this? <laughs> and then that's doubled, and then that's half. Yeah. No, no, that that's the double. I, I've just rolled more dice. Yeah. Because I like rolling more dice. Okay, sorry. Right, twice that as many dice rather than doubling the number. Yeah, yeah. I prefer. Yeah, that uh, just as a as a point, it was down to eight hit points. It's, uh, this but this is mad. way over the top. This, I was so. <laughs> okay, how do you uh, how do you want to do this? I take the damage. I go shit, <laughs> and I just do it and aim for its head. Okay, you launch the arrow. You can feel it digging away at your skin, you're ignoring that particular feeling of it. Uh, the energy around it is swirling in a very strange way, where everything's kind of swirling, uh, not around it, but it's kind of towards you, and you feel it launch with almost a, a backblast of energy. Uh, the arrow flies over, uh, strikes as it, you can see the, the look on the gorilla's face, it looks towards the arrow with suspicion, going right through the eye, right through the, the skull, and then stops for a moment, and there's a hesitation as the, from the inside out, the body dissolves into shadow. Mm. The shadow falls to the ground, and then rises upward and begins to fly away. You regain 10 hit points. Uh, as the back blast of the sparkling motes surges into you. 
there is a cry of pain coming from all of the other monkeys on the field. And that is no longer there. And are the other monkeys still <coughs> resistant? Okay, we'll that out. was Elzara's turn. It's the other monkeys' turns. I am going to hide back behind my tree. <laughs> I think they're all surrounded by people. They can't mm-hmm. run. Each of those Except monkeys will take as its action uh, to. Uh, uh, wow, I can't think of the word. Disengage. Disengage, thank you very much. One and second. then move as far as they can. You can't disengage from me. Can't disengage? Well, it just means you get your opportunity attack. Yep. Do we get like a retaliation or something? Uh, well, you will on your turn potentially. Hey! 17 plus 8. That is a hit. So it might not make it all the way out. How many dice do you roll? Hmm? One. Okay. And it won't get the move either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, not great. It's five. <laughs> Holding <But> it's, on. <laughs> speed is oh, actually, no. It is. It is dies outright as you finally see your picks dig in the proper distance, uh, and it just dies, uh, screaming and squealing in pain. Uh, the other two, that one can make it uh, to the edge almost. Moves five that way. Yeah. Clark gets an opportunity to attack. No. Uh, nope. It disengaged. They disengaged. He has a special uh, ability. A that one. Later, this one will leap towards this tree and then run, so it's off the map. And I think that's all the monkeys that were left. So uh, let's see. That was Alzara's turn. No monkey turn. Clark turn. <coughs> Alright, uh, I'd like to try a parting shot if I could. You can. Uh, he'll draw a hand axe from his belt. <laughs> you also see a spear lying at your feet, strangely enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's recognizable as Paul's, but <laughs> it is there. Oh, uh, that's better though. No, the hand axe is worthy. Yeah. Let's do that. Alright. It's worthy. <laughs> it matters. You killed us, we'll catch up. Uh, 17 to hit? 17 mm-hmm. hits. Sweet. Uh, three. Uh, eight. Eight damage. Eight damage that one back. goes down. Yes. Uh, Mark smiles for the first time today. Iro. Hmm. Oh, the Modron is gone, by the way. It's it's, yeah. it's slinked off into the forest. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, gotta say. Is that one dead or. It's dead. It's dead. Okay. Yeah, they're all dead. It's that a hand, one, hand axe one. to the back. Uh, the one that's been hiding in the trees is currently off the map, trying to get the hell away. Check something. Uh, yeah, I mean, Ivor doesn't have much that she can do. Doesn't really have ranged weapons now. Firebolt. Soon. Uh, one thing to notice when you're jumping, each foot you clear on the jump costs a foot of movement. They have a special thing. Yeah, I didn't like my jungle creatures being useless in the jungle. <laughs> it would made no sense whatsoever. Um, well, if there's nothing left, then yeah, there's nothing to do. So. Oh, there is one running away. Where? Over here. He's on the edge of the map, but you do get one retaliatory strike before he's out of range. Uh, Although I don't know if Iroh can actually reach him. I don't imagine so. And she may not be you know, interested in... She doesn't in really have her... <coughs> Okay. She could throw a throwing hammer at it, I suppose. 10, 20, 30, 40. Still going to be at disadvantage. It's a chance. She might roll high. Uh, 10. So I don't think that does uh, 10 is a miss, unfortunately. Okay. I'm rude. Um, we'll go this way and he'll try a ray of frost. <laughs> okay. One of us has to hit it. 17. 17 is a hit. It shatters. Nope. Four frost damage. Uh, actually, it does stop moving, and then you kind of see it kind of running a little bit, and then falls over, because it was very close to dead. The resistance was keeping it alive. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, end of that. You don't see any more. Uh, you make a... Quick party huddle. Oh, nope, it's a it's an attack. Does a twenty hit you? Yes. All right. It's not over yet. Uh, you take twelve bludgeoning damage, okay. and you are grappled as the vine wraps around your foot. Okay. 
Um, you can you can feel the vine has this weird protrusions like thorns on the inside mm -hmm. that look like they're stabbing into your foot, and you can feel it. Uh, now that it has actually struck something, <laughs> you notice an unusually large plant mm. sitting in the middle of all the other large plants, which is pretty good camouflage, if you ask me. So I don't need these anymore. Shank. You see that, uh, uh, well, I don't know, do you make a sound? Yeah, he'll probably, he'll probably say something. Like, ah! The fuck? <laughs> Alright, well, I guess there's something else to fight, so I'll I got this, use my dash. One, two, three, four, this five. This can't move out of the way of a moonbeam. Uh, that would be yours, Paul. Paul will go pick up his spear. Uh, can he make it that far? He can dash yeah. over. Oh, that's true, yeah. Turn. I say he has a bonus action. He can grab his spear off the ground. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not resisting. Alzara. Mm -hmm. Um. You're suddenly noticing that Clark has this large, thick vine wrapped around his leg. Do I see that? You do see that kind of menacingly. Vel. I'm gonna move here uh, and go for fuck's sakes and cast pl blight on this magical plant that takes the. Uh, constitution save at disadvantage. All yeah, right, constitution of a plant. Uh, disadvantage, it yeah. gets a six. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, then it takes sixty-four damage Ooh. because cool. it automatically takes the maximum. Cool. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's still going. Still. It's a nasty, nasty plant. But you mm. do see a, a lot of its fronds wither in and uh, uh, and kind of draw. Uh, Still, down. It took a Way to go, Elzara! You're really good at killing plants! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, that one's an evil plant. It doesn't count. <laughs> wow. Clark. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go back behind my tree. <laughs> 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 uh, Button my tree. Lucille's in hand. Let's cut the... Uh, okay, the at the start of your turn... If possible. You feel all those needles suddenly spring up around your leg. Okay. Wow, that's a really shit roll. Good. <laughs> you take 14 poison damage. Okay. Um, we passed an hour, so the end of uh, Indy Cox is no good. Yes, because you were traveling more than an hour. Okay, okay it is your turn. Cool. You are restrained. Let's cut that thing off if we can. Okay. I believe you are at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. You are restrained. I think, I think so. Conditions. Restrained. Disadvantage on attack rolls and dexterity saving throws. Attackers have advantage. Okay. This will be an attack roll. It basically keeps jerking you off of balance. Uh, 20 would have been nice. <laughs> uh, so if it's an attack roll, it's a 21. 21 <laughs> is a hit. Yeah. I thought you said the 21 would have been nice. Well, it was. The natural 20 would have been oh. nice. Oh. Mm. The that's 21 true. unnatural is not so bad. All right. I would like to try to slay the thing that's attached to me. All right. If that's possible. Stab at it. Yay. Uh, 8, 9, 10, 11. <laughs> okay. Am I considered restrained <coughs> still? Uh, unless you break the restraint, yes. Um, right. Which, by, either by killing it or muscling your way or slipping your way out of it. Okay. Yeah, it'd make a it'd be a strength or dex check to actually get out of it. Mm -hmm. On a nat twenty, I probably would have said you cleaved the vine, okay. but. Well, let's hit it again. Then. All right. Uh, at disadvantage. Still at disadvantage. Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem to bother you at all. Uh, that's two. Fail. How high a fail? Um, so five. Uh, seven, uh, one second. Um, nine. Okay. Yeah, that is yeah. a fail. I'd like to try to use my. Um, action surge. Okay. At this point, to do it again. All right. Uh, one of these. Oh, I mean, no, you yeah. still have disadvantage. Sorry, I was thinking advantage for something. No, reason. I no. was being silly. <laughs> uh, the eighteen and the nineteen. No, that's mm, it. Yeah, not quite a crit again. Nope. But uh, so uh, 16, 25? 25 is a hit. Cool. Let's try to do more damage. I'll reroll the two. 
12. As you slash down, you see you must have hit a, one of the vital elements of this vine. And it withers and splits in two and try to, tries to retract the vine. But you can see that now, because of the, the amount of damage that's already taken and you tugging away at it, it actually uproots the, the, uh, the plant in place. Mm -hmm. And it falls over, kind of shivering. And then very slowly, just sort of flops over. Congratulations, you beat the assassin vine that nobody walked into until you finally walked over there. <laughs> I'm just going to point to this little one on my hit points. <laughs> so close. <laughs> so close. Turns out, uh, assassin versus assassin vine and assassin vines. <laughs> <laughs> my uh, slim margin. Yes. Uh, granted, it took like a bucket load of damage in the first hit, so that was hilarious. Congratulations, folks. You have survived. We're not dead. Hey. Oh, that was the... Hmm? That, that was the last plan. thing. Okay. That was the last one thing. Yeah. The hope was I could drag you a little further into the room, and then I realized, nope, I've kind of held them there. So, oh well, no worries. Um, like several things that do 20 second damage. Like, Let's <laughs> run the other way. <laughs> um, those are <laughs> a small step outside. We're going to take a break here in a moment. But those are CR1 monkeys, by the way. What? They have one big thing that they can do, and it requires mm. recharge. As you kept rolling a really good recharge, and there's a bucket load of them. Uh, but as you uh, begin to recoalesce, checking over the wounds, seeing uh, how people are doing, um, two things happen. One, are you looking at all of the area around you? I would be. Okay. Um, Did anyone else I, I would see try the to metal my... cube run away? <laughs> yes, I, I believe it was a Modron. I, I would have yeah. them. A what? Uh, they used to be my boss. That was a while ago. What? They're kind of neat. <laughs> I'll explain what a Modron is. You, you have a very high-level theoretical understanding of a Modron, which is some hyperdimensional They're like being. these metal yeah. people in shapes. Um, those of you who are looking around the area, mm -hmm. um, if you are encumbered, it'll be a disadvantage. If you're not encumbered, it will be regular. Roll an investigation. Sure. I am focusing on uh, the healing. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of people here. Investigation. Really okay. Exactly. Uh, yep. Plus. I'm also trying to find uh, where the hell Ben went, that asshole. That's a total 20. Okay. Sounds like, oh, that's right. Wrong, wrong sheet. Okay. Right now, Zachus sees all the things. Yes, that too. Um, I'm still like it, but now 20. That's in the area, uh, you find several of the trees where uh, the vines and the trees themselves are kind of webbed, not webbed together, tied together, um, which is probably the nest of those monkey creatures that was there. Mm -hmm. Who's going up to look uh, in the nest? Because there's a climb upward. How high? About 30 feet up. It's a little higher than the typical canopy, so you can't really see it normally, but rolling that 20 and rolling 20 total, you guys are wandering around finding it. Uh, I see. can do it. That would be preferable. I have, I, mean, I have means of getting up there, but... It'll take energy. I, I can do it. Okay. As you proceed okay. to climb the tree. Before everyone starts tree climbing, everyone get in a circle. Uh, I'm going to actually... Unless someone doesn't want to be healed. Uh, I'll, I'll go get healed, but while I'm walking yeah. by, do I see my arrow there? Uh, make a perception check for that. Which for you is probably not going to be an issue, but... Uh, that is a 19. 19. You find the arrow, now make a durability check, which is another d20. You have to pass an 18. Ooh. Just a straight Just roll? Just straight up roll. Then 15. No. 15. The arrow is broken, but you do find it. Uh, the ma the magic energy... Oh, no, sorry. Yeah, it was a plus one arrow, so the magic no, energy... No, that was the uh, shadow arrow. The shadow arrow exploded inside his head. It, it, it exploded. Yeah. Okay. I thought you were looking for the other one that missed. Oh, yeah. Because no. you had a plus one arrow that missed, I think. No, I hit. Okay. Um... It All was right. in the Gurulon, which actually disappeared. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it, it, was it was in its, it's back. back. Yeah. There's a monkey holding a hand axe. There's no problems there, right? Is that monkey holding a hand axe? Yeah, in its back. Oh, yeah. No, there's no problems Probably there. Yeah. Uh, since it was your own target, you know kind of where it fell. So and it's a lot easier to find a monkey with a hand axe than a hand axe. Mm. Is there anyone who's not badly injured? Paul is very badly injured, and Zachus is, is not bloody. so hot. I'm at 59 I'm bad, from but. 76 and don't have any of my forms. I'm mainly looking at the two of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, not bad. Okay. 
Eight. Yeah, you know, missing a lot. Okay. Follows at four. I will heal everybody for. Oh, nice. Hey. Thirty-one points. Come back to Max. Yes, thirty-one. Back to Max. Uh, sorry, not you, because you only you hadn't taken huge oh. injuries. So I can only heal six people. We got seven here. Cool. I want to look at this plant. Okay. So yes, I'm gonna go climb the tree. Okay. Uh, you climb up the tree. Okay, so he is 31. Uh, so it should be 30. I'm assuming you're taking your time, so I'm not gonna make your roll. Uh, it is a freedom. Uh, no, freedom of freedom movement, movement doesn't help you climb. Swimming. Yeah. Um, and actually, no, that lasts for like an hour, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, clutch used to freedom of movement, though. But the girl on when it grabbed you could have done really nasty things. It's a little difficult to make your way in. Um, while you're fairly dexterous, the monkeys obviously had a natural affinity to this kind of space and moved and thought, not really in the same kind of shapes that we do. But it is most assuredly some form of nest. You find scattered around numerous bones. A lot of them are animal. Some of them do seem to be humanoid, however. Uh, and it kind of reeks up here uh, as they look like they store their leftover food here for a considerable period of time. Uh, you find five bodies in total. Um, digging through the bodies, you find a number of weapons, all rusted. Three rusted short swords, four rusted daggers, two rusted long swords. Not really much of value. Looks like they've seen too much time out here to, to really hold up much. Three, two, and two? Three, four, and two. Four, and two. Uh, digging through, one of the bags uh, kind of comes loose. Looks like the leather is rotted through. Um, reveals some coins. And you start looking around, you notice that none of the coins have been taken because what do monkeys need with coins? In total, after a few minutes of gathering it up, you find 121 gold pieces, 33 silver pieces, and 46 copper pieces. You find a small tin box with uh, six small little mushy looking pellets. Um, kind of looks like candy. You find uh, one of the corpses, while the leg has been pulled out of its socket and you think it's across the room over there, uh, the arm is definitely broken and bent at the wrong angle. There's still a little bit of flesh around the, the bones especially beneath this remarkably good-looking clothing that looks in perfect condition. It looks to be uh, some sort of uh, uh, well-to-do uh, explorer, I suppose. It's got a lot of nice pockets. It's got ribbons in perfect condition. I'll pick those up. Um, on another one of them, you find a shiny silver ring with a small shield on it. And you find a uh, notepad. Uh, but the leather has worn away and the water has gotten to the paper inside. And all the ink has, has basically mushed together. Sorry, you said a notepad? A, note, a notepad, like a leather-wrapped book. Um, with a rather fine-looking pen that is not rusted attached to it. Anything else? That's it. That's it? Cool. I grab everything. Okay. The bodies are the hardest to shove in the bag, but... I don't... I grab all the clothing. Oh, all right. The bodies sit there, unused. As you... I don't know if you're sharing that with the rest of them, or if you just... Uh, I'll share it with them when we settle down. Okay. Right okay. now, I want to secure the area. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what are you doing now? Are you going to take a short rest? I would... Greatly appreciate. I think we'll try to. I don't okay. know when dude's coming back, but yeah. All right. Or if he's coming back. When With that, I'm going to declare it a break. It's okay. quarter after four. We went a bit longer than I intended for the first break, but okay. it'll be a good time to do it. I can switch to the other tr screen where apparently most people have been staring at the non map screen for a while. Whoops. <laughs> Pardon us. And we'll be back in a couple of minutes as we all take a sweat break. I'll be back in a couple minutes.